Hello, and welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Dot, dot, dot. Starting off strong here, folks. Phew, made it on the train, 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Boom! That's my name. Candy, don't wear it out. Candy, did I spell that right? Yes. Hope passengers can read my scribble. <laughs> It's so pretty. The dining car. Uh-oh. Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can be so bad. Come on, Candy. Shake it off. Yeah. Did I just slap myself? <laughs> Candy, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Mr. Conductor, sir, uh, how are you doing this morning? Ho ho ho! Quite alright myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Is that because you're a sweetie? Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Ho ho ho! Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir! Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia unlocked. Wait, Spagonia? Where's Spagonia? I guess I'm just not familiar enough with where the flip that is. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotel. Fwahahaha! <laughs> FYI, everybody watching, this is my very first Sonic game. So that's exciting! <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles! Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory any time to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Alright, let's take a look at this menu. The Mirage Express dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Mm-mm-mm, delicious. Gotta love that freaking ramen. <laughs> Why do you look so nervous? All you have on the train is a microwave. ha <laughs> ha Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Gah, gah, the, the chicken cordon bleu. Ding, ding, ding! Glad you can read the menu okay. <laughs> a little about this vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. <laughs> it's not going to be easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him, for, blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car, as a home-based, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. I can't afford to lose this job. <laughs> I'll make you proud. <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy! doors to the Mirage Express are opening! All aboard! Thank you for the three dollar tip. I sincerely appreciate this since uh, it is my first day on the job. Choo choo! <gasps> Who's it gonna be? Oh my god. 
Oh my god! Is that Amy Rose? I, I know a little bit about Sonic, at least I hope. Tails! Tails, it's you! Oh my gosh! Wow, this train is incredible! What fascinating tech! You're right, Tails! I can get used to staying on a train like this! <laughs> what did you all expect? You know I always go out of my way for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. <laughs> Calm down there, rogue! Did I just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? That's right, Knuckles has a cowboy voice. It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Candy! You're sweating through your uniform! Hey, pal! Can I get one of those chili dogs? Oh my god! It's Sonic himself! Arg, of course, sir! Radio friend! Arg, of course, sir! That sounds good. Arg? Are you a pirate? Oh, no. I I'm more nervous than I thought. <laughs> Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Ha ha ha, sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Candy, won't you? <laughs> Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Uh, oh, okay, got it. Who do we choose first, y'all? Oh my gosh, so- Oh my gosh, there's so many kooky characters! Uh, somebody- Somebody- uh, Sonic? Okay, I saw a vote for Sonic. Check it, please! Thank you, kindly! Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard! Dot dot dot, question mark? Don't worry about it, I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did! I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay in our train, Sonic. Have fun now! Y yes uh, have fun now. We'll do. Thanks. Who's next? Okay, let's see here. We had Sonic, uh, Amy. Yeah, just tell me <laughs> who you guys want to see next. Great. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting! It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Same. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss... Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train! Happy birthday! The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Okay, this is already looking a little sus though, Amy. Like, look at the title of the video. She's got a key that can open anywhere! Just saying! Very useful! We'll use this wisely, thank you! Who's next? I think I see Knuckles. Howdy! Could I please get your ticket? I think that's the ticket? But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good! Thank you! Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> wow, not much out of Knuckles, huh? <laughs> Tails next. There he is, he's so cute. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir! Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. 
No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Rogue. I like that. I like that. Well, hello you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, ya hear? <laughs> wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Dun dun dun! Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! Uh, oh! This was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. What are you talking about? She's so great. Next! <laughs> I guess I'll choose this one. Let's see. This guy. I, I like this guy. <sighs> Here. Thank you! Everything is in order! He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Dot dot dot. Do you sell gift bags here? Uh... Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back, so, uh, I could get that for you? Dot dot dot! That stare! Burr! So cold! Candy, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Haha, <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, I'm good. NEXT! <laughs> Blaze the cat. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much on top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P -p princess Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what?! Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho ho ho! You don't seem! Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess! Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please, get up! Why can I not win with this group? Hello, my friend! Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Dot 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 question mark. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. There's something amiss, sir! I seem to have, um, <laughs> misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Next! This guy. We shall... Uh, what voice should we give this guy? Let's see here. Hmm. I could do... Of course! Or I could do... Oh, of course! We could bring Sparky into this! What do you guys think? I'm gonna- I'm gonna wait till everyone votes. I literally- What is this guy? What animal is this? What is Espio? Someone tell me! You like the snooty? Okay. He's a mysterious ninja chameleon. <laughs> of course he is! Okay, I guess we'll do the the snooty voice. They have no nose. Do the nasally one. Okay. Of course. 
Excellent! Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me! I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. W wow Ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? Well, what kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Have we covered everybody? I feel like we have. I mean, we said hi to Knuckles, Tails, Sonic, Espio. I think we got everyone, right? I think. <laughs> yeah, we we did, right? Someone help! I don't I don't know if we got them all. It looks like it wants us to do something. Oh. Hmm. Yummy. Don't mind if I do. Candy. Those are for our guests, you know. Train. Be sure Candy only gets one of those if they ask. Arm. Dot dot dot. So we got a speaking train in this, huh? Did the arm just kind of nod? Uh, actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The Train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat! Those snacks look really tasty, too. The missing ticket is the napkins. Thank you. <laughs> What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for that ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Great. So I think that uh, covers our bases, and uh, now do we just get to hang out and maybe sneak another little... <laughs> okay, so it's repeating. Great. So if the train has lines, maybe we'll give it Sparky's voice. <laughs> How about that? Alright, so we've seen this. Now I need to figure out what the next step is, because we have talked to all of the characters. Because I thought that we did- oh, okay. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Candy, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Ta-da! The missing ticket. Ah! There it is! That's my ticket! Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, old Candy here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? Is this FNAF? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone! Time for me to read out everyone's rules for the murder mystery! And that's my cue to leave! I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Yo, uh, just a thought, is this the guy who... you know... Kinda... kinda sussy? I don't know, anybody else? Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time. On the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems pretty capable on their own. And train? Assist Candy if they need any help, won't you? So we're just gonna get a lot of dot dot dots with the train? <laughs> That's all I needed to hear, you have my trust. So he speaks train. Great. I mean, after 32 years, yeah. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. It's a special kind of relationship. Excellent! I'll be off! 
I must take my leave, everyone. Please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train, it's state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Candy here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Well, do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Da da da. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. <laughs> Rogue, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Da -da -da -da. Hmm, this sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. And Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? The <laughs> candy is like struggling when I go to pitch my nose. That's hilarious. You know, just don't mind me snapping my neck over here. Maybe we can uh, make a tower of uh, books or something. <laughs> Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Uh, <laughs> you expect me to remember everything? I mean, of course, I remember it all. Uh, I was listening in. I hope that's okay. More than all right, you can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, so we got a map. Perfect. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. Oh, sussy! The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to infer- and well, Wow, hello. To interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. And this is a good time for a drink break. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> a mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling! I have goosebumps! Same! <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. Ah, well, I guess my theory is already flushed down the toilet! Gosh dang it. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. 
Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. Hell yeah. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Ugh! <laughs> microwave duty. Oh! Uh... What? The train started moving! Uh, it's so fast! Grab onto something! What is going on? Ah, I'm slipping! H hold on! I I can't! Ah, ah! <laughs> no! What the? That was that was some dramatic scene. Uh-oh. Dun-dun! What's happened here? You're both awake! Y yeah It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Wow! How exhilarating! I felt it in my bones! Gah! I know! The production on this train is astounding! It's definitely more intense than I expected! It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet! This train can reach such incredible speeds! <laughs> We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure! Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so... I don't... I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the... interview. We should go check on the others. Candy, could you get the door? Of course. Dot dot dot. I didn't like that. Uh, hmm. It seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. Is that how you say it? Is it pico pico or pico pico? <laughs> Hell if I know. Dot dot dot. Dot, 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 question mark? Let's find another way out. I'll, uh, start looking for clues. <laughs> I'll search over here. Dot, dot, dot. I know Amy. She's hiding something. <sighs> huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks! I'm gonna need your help! Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Hold Amy at gunpoint- DID YOU DO IT?! OH MY GOD DID YOU DO IT?! I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Understood. So we had a little flashback. We gotta, we gotta take care of these precious babies. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching! <laughs> Sussy Baka! Sussy Baka! Amy! <laughs> What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Excellent idea. Excellent. It'll take a whole lot of digging, though. Dig ourselves out? On a train? Uh, I'll keep looking. <laughs> Let's see. So talk, start interrogation. I don't know. Can we start the interrogation with no evidence? Yeah, screw it. Yeah, see, I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I don't think we have enough evidence yet! <laughs> Why don't we look around a little more first? Never mind, let's go look. There's gotta be another way out of here! 
Ah, the wet floor sign, keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some... <laughs> Once I slipped on some slipped spilled juice... Oh, okay, that was tripping my brain out there for a second, I had to make sure. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic sure uh, really is uh, as fast as they say, huh? But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Ugh. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Okay, what floor sign? This bookshelf? The shelf is blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Candy, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should lock it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Da da da. Great, okay, let me see what else I can click here. The microwave is not clickable? Darn, okay, well, we got the trash. Let's look at the fallen items. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Tails, it's time to cook! When we get out of here, sure! I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I'm sensing that Tails is a man of culture. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza! <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Investigate that sussy trash can! Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin! How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Da da da! What's this? A rod? Hmm. The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. Might come in hand lately. I mean, later. Ba 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 bomb! I think we found enough clues! Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened! Da, 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 da. Okay, Amy, it's time to fess up! What's the latest? Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us! What? You accuse me of my own birthday?! How dare you?! This isn't gonna be easy. Ugh. I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? What could she have done indeed? Microwaved a chili dog. <laughs> Attempted to escape. Murdered a suspect. Obviously murdered a suspect. A suspect. There was no one here other than you and Tails, and are either of you murdered? Well, I don't see Casper breathing, so explain yourself, woman! Plus, Amy and I are rules that can't be murderers. Hmm, some rethinking is in order. I, I knew that. I knew that. I, I just want to blame Amy, okay? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Microwave the chili dog! I told you I'm not eating until it's birthday cake time! Ugh, let me think through this again. I mean, I'm the microwave expert. That chili dog will be uh, quite delicious right now. Amy was awake before Tails and I were- What could she have done at the time?! Attempted to escape, obviously. I don't think you were sitting idly while Candy and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet! Prove it. <gasps> Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Candy, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. 
once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. All right, let's do it! What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Da, 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 da. I think it's... Hmm. Obviously the stick. Hmm, I'm not quite sure this will convince Amy. L let's give it another try. <laughs> I'm just- I'm just pulling your tails, tails! What evidence proves Amy attempted to leave the closet? What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, tails. What now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, haha, <laughs> you see, I, uh, hmm. well. Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? <laughs> what would Jesus do in this moment? And Jesus being Sonic. Oh, what would Sonic do, the great Sonic? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses! Like... like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure. Whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do! Uh. It's- it's time to think- oh, so thinking is a- it's a mini-game! We're gonna actually play the good old Sanic! Alright, so I have to test- oh, oh my goodness, what if I fall off? This is terrifying! I'm ready! Okay, I'm- I'm ready! WASD, it wants me to use the WASD- I've used them! Game, let me- let me go forward! There we go. Okay, it wanted to make sure I really had a, a grasp. Okay, so I got collect rings. Oh my goodness, I, I'm playing the classic Sanic. I, I never thought I'd see the day. Oh. oh, oh my god. I almost got impaled. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Yo, first Sanic game. Mm. Hey, that went pretty well. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? <gasps> well, well, I... <gasps> I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Oh my gosh, it is sticks time to shine. What is that? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? I I guess it's time for more Sanic. Alright, perfect. Ba, ba, ba. Time to collect those juicy, delicious, dripping with grease onion rings. Oh, oh my goodness, look at me. I'm eating so many- oh, shite. <laughs> Uh, well, if we look at it um, closely, you'll see- Oh, so it makes you fail of you if you- <laughs> I think you've been twirling around that stick a bit too much. Candy, let's try to follow that train of thought again, shall we? Okay, I, I gotta not fail this time. Alright. Okay, onion rings. Activate. Okay, so I really can't touch those spikes, otherwise my booty is done for. Good thing I got my bouncy pad. Oh. Get those onion rings, baby. Okay, we're good. We got it. Our idea is within sight! Da -da -da -da! You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. <laughs> no, no! But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer? Ah! Ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer! Da 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 da! da! <gasps> you attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed! The handle to your hammer snapped right off! Uh, uh, 
Haha, we have caught her red handed or pink handed. I don't know. She's wearing gloves. We can't tell. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy! It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed! Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick! Alright, stand back! Wa pow! The, the shelf completely shattered! Incredible! We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy! Let's get out of here! Oh yeah, look at us. We're, we're, we're doing so good! And I played my first classic Sanicness. Mmm, some good stuff. Wait, is that... Oh my god! It... it can't be! Sonic! <gasps> Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun! I'm finding out who did this at once! Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too! Wait for me! Dot dot dot. What a whirlwind! I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. <laughs> Sus, cause she's happy, I agree. <laughs> Sonic, it was super convincing. Sonic? Uh... Sonic? Uh, body numb. I can't move. What? What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to r rest. <laughs> Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds uningenuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no! Oh no! I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Candy. What do I need to do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understand? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. Okay, that's a little sus right there! Sonic is a drama queen. He deserves an Oscar for acting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I leave their care to you, Candy. My favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even this is, even if this is the part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see! Where is the train hand when you need it? The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. We're in for quite a ride, folks. Saloon car! Whee! Let's get to the bottom of this mystery. Whoa, look at this place. Tails, Tails, where are you? Candy, I'm over here. 
I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Sussy! Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. Um, how do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he He's laughing. What? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. That's exactly what they want you to think. Whoever did this to Sonic. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic really likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. Wow, he sounds just like a cat. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? Shadow is not even their friend. Dang. What a birthday party. I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. It's my job to keep an eye on you, Tails! I must- I must protect you! The chain rules say I, I gotta stay and watch out for everyone. You just want to hang out with me, don't you? <laughs> I can see it in your eyes! How is everyone great at reading people but me? <laughs> As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh... Where's my lore card? Did his wife die or something? The last- oh my goodness, alright. The last guy to work a case with me ditched her practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without package. <laughs> You're goddamn right. This is true. Your varmints. <laughs> what are all you doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic! Well, was it you? <laughs> I'm all looking, looking kind of... Looking kind of over there, Knuckles. And I can see that. Amy's moseyed around through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he can keep that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what we were up to before the murder. Anything help us establish your alibi and, uh... Nope! I ain't nothing to tell neither of ya. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Candy, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. I agree. Let's investigate for clues, and then interrogate. Right! Let's do it. I'm learning so much Sanic lore right now. I literally don't know that much. <laughs> I've only seen the two movies. And have a faint knowledge because of the internet. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Oh come on, I want to give Super Monkey Ball a try! Gosh dang it. Do we think it broke where the train sped up? Damages look more to be caused from... Punches? Uh oh, did Knuckles play it and get angry or something? <laughs> Who could have done that? Oh, I'm- Oh, I wonder! Oh my goodness! Hmm. <gasps> Why are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to your inventory. Man, I got one hell of an inventory. Let's look at that dip! Ah, the bowl- oh, it's- it's- it's nuts. Just nuts. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Obviously. Mm. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kinda bland. Huh. Seems like someone licked all the salt out of them. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder who. What? What? Blah! Patilly! Or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> let's let's pray and hope for Tails' sake. The robotic arms here are really helpful. So we meet again. Are you gonna say something this time? What's the arm doing to my hair? <laughs> 
He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible! Well, what interesting tech! Uh-oh. Should I fear my... for my job a little bit? How well can... can it microwave, huh? Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check in here. So it's not gonna be hidden in the trash until the very end of the game. I'm calling it right now. Sadly, this one is empty as well. This has got the vibes of, sorry Mario, your princess is in another castle. I'm starting to think your theory on something always hidden being in the trash is kind of flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Ha ha ha. Uh-huh. I think Tails is ignoring me. Shoot. Candy, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Mm, I, I don't know, I'm, I think I'm seeing some lip prints. Candy, this one has lipstick on the rim. Who do we know that wears lipstick? That's not S Knuckles' color at all. <laughs> so, uh, what's Knuckles' shade then? <laughs> Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Everyone in the chat, tell me what Knuckles' lipstick color should be. I don't know, I, he could rock a brown right now with his outfit. I think he would look really good. I thought I told you to leave me alone. <laughs> Please don't beat me up. Oh, blue? Yeah. Maybe the right shade of blue would really just make those eyes pop. I agree, the purple especially would make the eyes pop, yes. <laughs> totally a magenta guy. <laughs> Please don't beat me up. No promises! <laughs> Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wanna be fun? I bruise easily too. <laughs> Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. Sorry, Candy. I wish you luck. He's not actually gonna fight me, right? Uh, yeah, but no, I'm gonna start my interrogation. Screw that. I'm not fighting you, Knuckles. Knuckles, Candy and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. <gasps> uh, it is? We have evidence too. We do? Candy, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Uh, what was distracting Knuckles? Probably the arcade machine? And then he got angry at punch and punched it? The arcade machine, ha! What makes you think I touched it? I don't know, maybe the fact that you seem kind of angry <laughs> and you punched it. I don't know, man. Oh my god, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh gosh, oh gosh, hello. I can game, I can, I can do it. Oh, Sonic, no! Uh, well, uh, music, please don't punch me in the face. You have no argument here. You are weak. Ouch. Candy, let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? Okay, now it's getting it's getting harder. Now all the years that I didn't spend playing Sonic are really what? catching up to me, aren't they? Truly. Okay, okay, we nailed it. I think we nailed it. We got it. Not enough rings. Excuse me. What? Not enough rings? Oh, great! So I have to get enough rings too. I really gotta, I gotta sponge through those, those sweet onion rings, or else. Oh shoot! I, I missed too many onion rings. Oh shoot! Okay, gotta get those onion rings. Hell yeah! 
Okay, enough? Was it enough? Yeah, I got 3103. Awesome. Ha! Take that, Knuckles. I'll give you a Knuckles sandwich. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Super Monkey Ball is your favorite, the arcade. <laughs> your hair was found at the scene. Well, you know, the arcade cabinet is covered in punches, so... What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Ha <laughs> Ah. Uh, why are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. Ha! <laughs> How will you- I'm on it. Candy, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Uh, uh-oh. Not- uh-oh. Uh-oh! Please don't punch me in the game, Knuckles. Uh-oh, missing the rings, baby! I'm missing those- Oh, gosh! Oh, frick! <laughs> Ah, these, 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 oh, oh gosh, she's punching me so hard. Uh. It's okay. I, I have faith in myself. I got this. I got this. I can feel it in my butt. Uh. <laughs> I always miss those jumps. Mm, mm. The music's pretty grooving. Gosh dang it, why didn't I spend my childhood playing Sonic? Obviously I I failed in that regard. Okay, I got enough rings, we're good. I got those greasy onion rings in my stomach secured. The arcade machine is fixed! Thank goodness. No! Don't look at the scores! <laughs> Quick! Look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now! Oh dear. Okay, what does this tell us? N nothing, obviously. Oh! Okay, so Knuckles is upset that he's second? Is that another candy right there? But it's not candy with the K! <laughs> Is there a candy in the Sonic universe? Okay, let's see. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list! Okay, so Vector. It's Vector! He's supposed to be in the library car. Hmm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score! And Vector beat you! And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. He's punching the air in frustration. Ooh. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. <laughs> what? <laughs> common? I've never heard of it in my life. I need Candy to be drawn as a Sanic character. Because apparently I'm in the game. I actually think I would translate well to being a Sanic character. Oh my god, it's getting more complicated. Oh god. I'm scared! Uh, uh. Oh shoot, I don't have enough rings! Fudge! You have nothing, Zilchazada. Oh my gosh, try again, baby! So you really have to- you have to do a lot of multitasking in your brain region because you gotta- you gotta get those rings and also not jump off the side of the- the frickin' edge and commit yeet. Ah. Get stuck here for the rest of the stream. That would be beautiful, but it's not gonna happen because I'm gonna do this I don't believe in myself! Oh. I need those- I need those juicy rings! Oh my god! Give me those juicy rings! Oh my gosh, I did it! Ha! Ah, I did it! Yes! I'm so happy. 
Ugh. Finally, I'm able to think. Now, Candy, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. So, Vector was the lipstick? What? Okay, let's just do that for fun. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Oh, okay, it's the cups, not the lip print. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, uh, um, it's not like... It's not I wasn't... <laughs> uh, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did... We competed for the highest score! When he bested- Oh, okay, here we go. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Uh, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Mm. Rogue was here. She was in here too. I knew it! I knew it! Oh my gosh, it's Rogue! The sexy bat thing. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed and made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. Mm. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the sp train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm not understanding this scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rogue couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- uh, Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Yeah, why is everyone so sauce in this game? Ugh. Yeah, it was a love affair. <laughs> Shipping broken Knuckles! I was thinking that too. That's not everything, is it, Knuckles? <gasps> uh, uh, I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. Doesn't make sense. Candy, can you take a look one more time? Is it because my name's on there? Because, uh, <laughs> an odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Um, I think that it's a little weird that my name is right there. What? It's not that! <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not a mind reader. Let me check the list again. Which name stands out? How about Ultimate? I- I- Ultim? Bagel? Nuck? <laughs> Toast. Uh, um, you know, bread's looking pretty sus right now. Dun dun dun. All the other names have a food theme, but this one... Who here goes by Ultim... You may not know, Candy, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The Ultimate Life Form. Wait, what? The Ultimate Life Form? Wow, this the Sonic lore is its going deeper. I'm ready, Tails. Fill me with that juicy Sonic lore. Uh, the, there's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing. Nothing sinks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So, Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Ta -ta -ta, it's a key! Sh 
Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone, then you left. When Vector was leaving, I knocked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? Da -da -da! No, I think she has some sort of key too. Oh, that's right! She has the key that can open any door! That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key! Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rogue searching for? I don't know! They didn't tell me! Even though I asked with that cowboy accent! I'm, I'm just gonna leave the cowboy accent, I think it's great. He's got the yeehaw going on! You're gonna have to find them and ask yourself. Ask them yourselves. God. Wow! And we're done, I think. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on! As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. <laughs> Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Candy. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Candy! C coming Okay, let's uh let's yeehaw on out of here. Ready to mosey down to the next car? No way, ding nabbit. You got it, partner. Yeah, let's just let's get the flip out of here. Onwards. I don't even remember. When when did Sonic 2 come out? That was the last time I heard Sonic sorry, Tails' voice. He just looks like he sounds like that, you know? So cute. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's f okay. Here we go. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espion, I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Vector, it seems we have more guests. <laughs> Candy! <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if that voice will work in the long term, but we'll see. Amy, there you are! Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? <laughs> uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. <laughs> This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Da da da, and she pulls out her birthday key. The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Okay, here we go. Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. Uh, I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. <laughs> it's obviously me! Oh, gosh. And, uh, I'm, uh, 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 just making sure that everyone's okay, uh, things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murderer. Well, I mean, besides that. Besides murder? Ah, my social skills. Non-existent. <laughs> Freak. Uh... I'm Vector, the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. Well, that's terrifying. And I'm Espio, the Poet. 
Ah, poetry! A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Uh, sure. Uh... Teardrops in the spring Can you hear me sing? La 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 Dee 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 Hmm, Tails is not impressed. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. <laughs> Espio dating simulator. <laughs> At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Candy and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. Okay, so here's our good old map. When we were all sent off, Rogue, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yup. Where was Rogue? What happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup? Of we happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. It was Major Lisa. Rogue came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back at the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something! Ah! I can't take SPO seriously. Hmm. <laughs> Here we go. After Rogue left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? <laughs> Shadow walked through the library door to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. Son of a biscuit. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library door to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector- Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's- it's fun, we gotta- I gotta switch this up each time. Alright. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. Ugh. <laughs> And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Espio dating sim, I would play that game. <laughs> with that voice. <laughs> I mean, hell yeah. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Did anyone notice that blood stain on Vector? Uh, well, I mean, he is the butcher, so. And if you like to be serenaded with a paw oh, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true! We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post, and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it! Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! So who was it, y'all? 
I I'm looking at you, Vector. Mm, I don't know. Hang in there. <laughs> it's a beautiful sign. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. Uh... This little chow's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. <laughs> That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. Right? Ooh, brochures! Did anyone else, when you were younger, travel to places and collect brochures? I used to do that. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants, ooh! Candy, look at this, there's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it! Library map is added to your inventory! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites! Cause I am a cat bat and I wanna go into a cave, apparently. Nah! Nah! Leave it. Oh, come on! Oh, haha, ha, yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves! <laughs> A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagania, if you've ever been there. It's- okay, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and ask. Where- where is Spagania? What- what is that? Does anyone know? I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle! He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks! Ah, ah, ah. I need one of those scrumptious sandwiches. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Okay, let's see here. The train? Will that... Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. There's a lot to look at. Ah, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. Those chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap personally. In fact, maybe I'll, I'll rest my eyes a bit. Candy, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time, gosh dang it, dang nabbit. You gotta check that trash can, you know. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but mm, there's nothing there. Ah, uh, I really thought there'd be something there! Candy? Are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? N no I'm alright. <laughs> I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. <laughs> you... You really think so? Um, yeah! We just gotta stay optimistic! Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins inside a secret, I'm sure of it. Candy, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. What was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> this is adorable. This game is very cute. Okay, let's see. What have I not clicked at the knocked over books yes so many books on the ground I wish we had time to pick them all up I sadly have no interest in picking up these books <laughs> a lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up but rogue pulled a lot of these out too searching for something 
What reckless behavior! I feel sorry for the poor books! The spines are creasing! They're opening too far! This kid feels empathy for everything. And it's adorable! What have we not checked? Okay, this book. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman! Yup, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Wait, does, does Dr. Eggman want to cook Sonic? I I'm not familiar. Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. Or maybe he, like, cooks how-to basic style. Like, he takes a bunch of eggs and freaking throws them all over the place. You may not be wrong. Uh, okay, have we checked everything? Okay, we've looked at the books. I think we're good. We've looked at that. Oh, not this. Oh, my goodness. You can light up the sign. Oh, uh, but wait! There's more! Wow! I wish I could stop and look at all these books! But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Hmm. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop. Ha <laughs> ha! A genius in a train library. Or in this case, a genius. Yeah, you are a genius, Tails! You exude that genius energy! That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one! The Mirage Express Manual. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express! The train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe. But it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express Manual is added to your inventory. Alright, it's time. Fancy a poem? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a poem about space? How about a poem about trains? Let's do space. I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste. Drop the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Hmm, are we ready for the interrogation? Can I take your order? <laughs> I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignore the grumbling tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my egg sunny. Oh, wow! <laughs> we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. You know, there's a whole egg man thing. My talent is wasted on you, Lot. <laughs> okay, do we need any other, like, evidence, or do you think you guys... What do you guys think? Are we ready to just interrogate? I don't know, or we could listen to more espio poems. Fancy a poem? Obviously. Let's do it. What, what'll it be? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh, wait. There's my lotion. Oh. Uh, thanks. Invigorating. I actually really liked that one. Uh huh? Hmm. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little more first? Mm, very well. Yes, a poem about lotion. Mm -mm -mm. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. 
There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. Is that what we needed? Was that the evidence? I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Okay, so you have to always get the message from Tails that it is time to slap some cheeks. Fancy a poem. I think we need to start the interrogation. So, the two of you don't believe us, huh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Candy and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to vis uh, present evidence if needed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Uh, oh. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rogue entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Oh, of course I he was. <laughs> Uh, once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Da, 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 da. Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think, Irene? If you won't talk... I have a hunch on what that book might be. Candy, could you help me out? Oh, right, Candy. What book do we think Espio may have taken, may have been reading? I think the manual. Oh. This one. <gasps> a manual? You think Espio is reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Oh, no. Oh no! And they're gonna get harder each time, aren't they? Oh god. <laughs> Woo! I, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, what does that mean? Oh my god, that's what that means. <laughs> get out of the way so I can be okay, shite! <laughs> I need more rings anyway. Oh goodness. I gotta, I gotta level up my Sanic gaming. Give me those juicy onion rings. Oh, oh gosh. I, oh, my butt touched the spikes. Oh no. Oh, that's a lot of rings. Oh, that's mm, sweet rings. Sweet, juicy onion rings. Get in my sanic belly. Am I good? Oh, I'm good. All I need to do is stay alive, and I will be golden, crispy, and brown like an onion ring. Juicy. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves are all in alphabetical order. I'll accept this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. He was reading smut. <laughs> what the frick? Espio is sweating at that. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey now! I won't have you insulting my pal like th- Calm down, as uh, Calm down, Vector! Vector! Ugh. I know you mean well, but uh, I can handle myself! Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Candy, if you don't mind. <gasps> ba -ba -ba. 
Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? What page, y'all? I'm, I'm gonna let the chat decide. Well, I take my drink break! Hundred sixty-two. The chat has spoken. Okay. Um. What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Go. Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash at messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though, I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passengers' safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Candy, hit him with another one! Oh, okay, which page? What page, chat? Go! Page 89, page 231, page 15. Ba, 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 ba. Yo, know, I've been liking the music too. Page 15. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Candy. Let's see if Espio can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? You know what to do, chat. Page 402. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite. Is that how you say it? Sweet soup? Of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Okay, so if you love the music in this game, check out the music for Sonic Frontiers. It's rock and roll. All right, yeah, I might have to look into more Sonic music. Yeah, I think he is. I think he's good. Totally, it's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. I mean, it must be because you're a ninja chameleon. A poet's brain is often surprising. You're damn right. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. <laughs> Jeez. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to ask my buddy a question like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Victor was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substi- How the fudge? Substant- Substantiate? Substantiate despite being the truth. <gasps> well, you definitely read through the man- Read through the manual, so I suppose we can- Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Candy? Ah, he always puts me on the spot! 
Okay, Candy, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espia reading. But what? Uh, Shadow? Maybe? Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell what this has to do with anything. We're up, Candy. Let's get our argument together. Okay, it's time to think. Th 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 think, think. Hmm. Oh my goodness, 50 rings. 50 rings! Hmm? Oh my god. They're gonna make it harder each time. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I scream a little bit when I am a little nervous. Ooh, please, please let me get enough rings. Oh, I got those juicy onion rings. I'm gonna have a big fat snack tonight. 60 or 50, alright, we're good. Ah, whew. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car where he set the original high score in the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. <laughs> Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. Hmm. He only mentions that Vector came back. Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car. Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Mm -hmm. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here, defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So, if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car! It's a mystery, my dear Candy. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me! That cool demeanor is vanishing! I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car, honest! When Victor returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I... I wasn't! I didn't... Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but nah, I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? No, we're joining Tails! Tails to the end! No mixed signals here! No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's onto something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning, and... Candy, my favorite and beloved employee, please. Protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous! Don't allow such an old feeble soul to get sued! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh! I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up! Tails! Uh? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems! All right, my fellow associate. Lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Ah! Uh... <laughs> Is it this, the library map? Let's just try it. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. Thinkity-think-think-think. 
55 onion rings to collect. Will I be able to do it first try? Who knows? This is definitely a cute way of uh, incorporating the good old Sanic action into the game. Being like, yeah, when you're thinking, you play a little, a little, oh gosh, ouch. I think I lost my onion rings! So oh, goodness above, please don't touch my onion- Oh gosh, don't touch my onion rings! Let me keep my onion rings, gosh dang it. Hell yeah. Bada boom! The library map? Oh! Oh, I see! See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't- There's no- Okay, wait. There is a way Espio and Shadow couldn't see one another. Alright. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Uh, a book nook? Okay, let's see here. So... Um... I... F I don't know. Inside the shelf, obviously. Interesting. Oh, pff, it's him. Okay, it's him! Minecraft villager mode, go! Interesting! That's where I was sitting, reading my book. I can suck at this! When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot! That confirms it, then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Want to hear more of my poetry? Uh. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We, we did it! Another pair of alibis validated. We rock. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are oh so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rogue, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give them heck. And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose while doors kept locked. Keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Candy. Let's see what's next. Coming! Y'all, who do we think did it? You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> this is adorable. Just one more look around. Mm, I don't know. Chat, should we look around a bit more or is it time to get a move on? Maybe something magically appeared in the trash can? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? One more look around. Mystery calls? I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards going forward, so... Maybe we should do that? What do you think? Bum, 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 ba, boom. Okay, I shall make an executive decision. Yes, all right, let's go forward. The mystery calls. 
Okay, the investigation continues. Aw, uh, yeah. The casino! I think Rogue was in here, right? All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rogue, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? <laughs> And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Ah, oh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to... explain? Uh, tell him, Rogue. We're gonna need the help. Please? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Tre treasure they certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview! Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rogue. Alright, well, it's a far- how do you the f- HOW THE FRICK?! Farbage chow egg. Hopefully I didn't butcher that, but if I did... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that does sound extravagant! But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg! A woman can have multiple goals. <laughs> I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She rubbed me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rogue? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rogue, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh. Finders keepers, sweethearts. Um, okay, just a question. It's Rogue, right? Not Rouge? I'm pretty sure it's Rogue. She's not red, so... <laughs> I've always appreciated her design. I, I can get behind a fellow bat. That's a problem. Oh, there's a problem! We need your assistance! What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Please? You don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Wait, so is it, is it rouge? Like the color? So just say like the color if it's like the color. <laughs> oh no! Sonic fans! Please forgive me of my sins if I've been pronouncing the name wrong! Ah! Ah, her lore card must be influencing your decisions here. Oh, she is! It's like the color! Frick! I I suspected as such. Okay, she will now be called Rouge. Honestly, I, I think I like Rouge better than Rogue anyway. I'm sorry! Forgive me, please! Okay, Rouge. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Candy, do you have an opinion on this? Haha, <laughs> stealing is for squares. It's time for a five-finger discount. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Candy are in... Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow egg. 
<laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Bow! Alright. Oh boy, what have we got ourselves into? Access to the Faber- Oh, here we go. Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card, do we? Hmm. Hmm, let's distract the guard. Distract them? Perfect! We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Candy, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Uh, Rouge. Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus, your fight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Oh, well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Blaze, let's try that. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Thank you for forgiving me for my sins. I I appreciate it. <laughs> Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of choker po wow poker chips to the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. I don't even know if I'm I'm saying chow right <laughs> at this point. I'm questioning everything. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? This'll work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the car- with the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Grab them and fly up to the rafters, ask for the card- grab them. I don't know. I don't want any violence. Oh, that's so cute! There won't be any violence. I'll just tie them up to a rafter. Easy. Where do we get the rope? Interesting point. Maybe we should try something else. With the guard distracted, uh, Rouge, uh, how will you get the access card? Okay, pick their pocket. <laughs> I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent! We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises! <laughs> With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Candy, what's your plan? Uh, say there's a drink without a coaster and ruins tables, gosh dang it! Push the security, pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Uh... Oh... Um, but, okay, okay, wait, wait, we gotta put our, our big brain in it into the, the, the freaking ah there's our big brains here push the security guard over say there's a drink guys i need your help tell me which one i should do <laughs> chat please save me ring ring i'm i'm calling you chat which one because <laughs> i don't know i'm not sure if say there's a dr saying there's a drink without a coaster is enough Tails doesn't want any violence, so... Uh, do I pretend I'm Blaze's spouse? Push the guard over! PUSH THE GUARD OVER! I'm still not comfortable with any violence here. It's just a little push. That chow's low to the ground. It won't hurt them. But if they start crying, I'd bring unwanted attention to us. It'd bring unwanted attention. She's right. Why is someone who cries so easily a security guard? 
decent point. Let's think of something else. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Candy, what's your plan? Uh... Okay, let's see. Hmm. Do I need to pretend? Alright. Think you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? <laughs> Freak. <laughs> what? Well, I, um... You dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Wait, you don't think I'm good enough to be your wife? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm candy, gosh dang it. <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. Wait, what? <laughs> what is this? I said, we'll try something else! With the card obtained, okay, let's get that plan going. Say there's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. <laughs> what? The? Such drama. Oh my goodness. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. Perfect. And just like that, we all make it to inside of the elevator. Inside, we celebratory dance, pop some apple cider, sing victory a cappella. Celebratory dance. Mm. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Uh, haha! -ha. Um, high five each of them. <laughs> Tie them into one big knot. No, have tails disable them. Perfection! I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Does eating blood count as a war crime? I don't know. We'd have to. I don't know, Blaze. Would it? Because, <laughs> you know, I, I've kind of tasted blood in almost every episode so far. <laughs> Because I'm a vampire kitty. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Cry and hope that you sympathize. Imagine you're not in pain. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Uh oh. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, let's let's guilt them into letting us go, obviously. Tails managed to do it! Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. Just out of curiosity, do these voices at all sound like the characters? I saw in the chat someone said that the Tails voice sounds like Tails. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it- oh, here we go. We couldn't have made it this far without you both! You have my gratitude! Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection! Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. <laughs> Let's claim our Fabergé Chowig. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what these characters sound like, really, so that's pretty cool about Tails. Seduce the vault again. <laughs> What could they possibly be storing in all of these? This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings, too? Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right! We 
gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart, let's see. 230401. Oh, wow! It's here! <laughs> I have it! Alright! Before anyone sees us, let's get out of here! Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out! What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs ev were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these have nev has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, tick, ah, ah, the begin, the begin, the 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 bomb. Uh, uh, uh oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb. Ah, uh, I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of this egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge! Fine! Fine! But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Um. Quick! Quick! Put the egg back, Rouge! Uh, okay, fine. It's going back in. Uh, Tails, the safe will lock the door staying open! Wh why close the door and twist the dial? I obviously am! There must be something weird way to unlock the door! There's no other buttons or tiles, how are we You're supposed to- We don't have time to mess with this! Think of something else! Um, let Rouge kiss the egg! <laughs> what? It's as they say, love always prevails! I still hear the ticking. <laughs> what a prude! <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Rouge, we uh should probably think of a different plan. Um, let it finish ticking and see what happens. <laughs> Flip the egg down. I can open it up and see if there's wires to cut. What do we do? Stop on the egg, flip it. The tail cool tail's cool down with his tails. Uh, okay, let's open it. What do you mean by this? Y you know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one. The, the, like the movies! <laughs> this isn't a movie, Candy! This is real life! Ugh, he's got a good point. Uh, flip the egg upside down. Candy, what's flipping it going to do? I don't know, try it! <laughs> Nothing happy? Uh, yes, I'm very happy. <laughs> um, eat, eat the egg. <laughs> what? Have Blaze set it on fire, sure. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosives should mix. Come on, it's funny, do it! Do a flip. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Candy? <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> um, let's see here. Toss the egg in the elevator. Let someone else deal with it. <laughs> Alright, down it goes! We're clearly not going to blow up the elevator. Let's rethink this. Oh, I still haven't chosen the right one. Hmm, okay, rock the egg to sleep. <laughs> what? I think I have to take one for the team, everyone. Here, give it to me. Uh huh? Get, get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as I am. A hero. 
No! Candy! We won't let you do that! I mean, if that's what they want, who are we to... Stop! The microwave kid's obviously not going to sacrifice herself. Their body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. Uh, true. Let's think of something else quickly! Hmm. I really don't know, y'all. Tell the egg to stop! <laughs> stomp on the egg. Let's, uh, let's twist the egg. Great idea! Stop! Stop! That's clearly not working! Let's think of something else! Uh, frick. <laughs> stop on the egg! Just how I like my eggs. Smushed. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. Obviously not. Hmm. Twist again? I don't see a- I don't see a twist. Chaos control the egg away. Where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter! We need a chaos emerald to be able to do that! Well, gosh diddly darn dang it. <laughs> Stop! For science! That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that! <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eat the egg. Not without any salt, I won't. Really, Candy? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Cool the bomb down with your tails like a fan! Worth a try! I still hear it ticking. However, refreshing the breeze, maybe. Hmm, okay, new plan. Let's rock that egg to sleep. <laughs> We're just exhausting every option. So you think this egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea, gal! Let it finish ticking you see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb candy. That is our goal! Listen, listen, I, I get that, but what if the egg, now, now hear me out, isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right! Candy, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Uh-oh, flashback time! Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. So it's obviously not a bomb? Well, we freaked out for nothing? Those robot arms that attacked us at the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought into the train disguised as this Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Mm. Uh, okay, we wait. Uh, okay. Wow! Okay, that takes talent to choose literally every other option. But I'm going for that full game playthrough. In depth, no stone unturned. What's happening? The egg! It's opened! It's hollow, not a bomb at all! You both really were onto something. <laughs> My, my, well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely a relief. My hunch was right, thankfully, after 20 freaking times. <laughs> remember my times. Eee! <laughs> Look what's inside. Wow. Wow. Look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too! The final secret to the Fabergé Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect! It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! 
Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Excuse me, Candy, but I too would be drooling over a sparkly ornament. Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to see and tell the Fabergé Chow egg secret. I wonder why, if the egg wasn't a bomb, maybe they were murdered. Because they were as tough as us, I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them? Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Wow, that was intense. <laughs> no one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdue the drink coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun? But I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. As It's as I said. <laughs> Finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures. But I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Da da da! The key! Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow! He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Candy. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Ba -ba -ba -da. Can I just say I love the purple cat design for Blaze because my fursona is a purple cat, so I relate to that on a spiritual level. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. What was your alibi? Do you think you could... Go over your alibi again for us, please. When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé Chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car, where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? The that's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. <laughs> that smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, well, thank you for your time, please. Any time. And Tails, do you tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course. Can do. Who is Cream? <laughs> Uh, someone in the comments tell me who Cream is. I'm curious. 
arms. The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. The trash can, of course. Tails, we must search the trash bin. Uh, if it's empty... Uh, oh? Oh? Did, did I hear an oh? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even in peeking in the trash. See, it's about... See, it's about persistence, Tails. Ha <laughs> ha My dad told me that... Oh, wow, okay. My dad told me that when we met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours every... away every Tuesday... Wow, Tuesday with a flower from his garden. That's so cute. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's, um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. <laughs> a lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's here. Candy? Candy, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be! <laughs> wow, all that for the trash bin. <laughs> Genius! Okay, let's see. The slot machine? Hmm, should I give the slot machine a try? <laughs> yes, play the slots, obviously! Alright, let's see, big money! Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yes. <laughs> Until we win! Persistence, baby! Yes, we're gonna keep playing until I win that big money! I need that god money! Candy, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Well, I lost, but maybe next time I'll get it. Big money, big money! Well, I lost. Does it let you ever win? That's my curiosity. Play those slots. You know, the definition of insanity it's doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome, right? Well, maybe, Tails, I'm freaking insane. I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails, I got it this time. Hell yeah. Okay, so Cream is a rabbit girl who has a pet chow named Cheese and is the only Sonic character with a mom. She is really good friends with Amy Rose. My goodness, all the lore I'm learning, thank you. The start of a galley edition. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have interested heavily in it, even when it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial? Of course I've heard it! Why do you ask? Mm, no reason. Alright! Big money, big money! Well, I lost. Uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. All right! Give me the big money! Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yes. Big money! I want that money! What if it says that you have to do it a hundred times and then you get the money? Is there like a Steam reward for, <laughs> for winning this? Big money, big money, big money! All right, y'all. I need you to vote. Do I keep going till I win that big money? Or do I keep going? The bunny from the show in advance game. So, so Cream's a bunny. Okay. Rabbit. Gotcha. Cream's mom's name is Vanilla, in case you wonder in the future. Is anyone here in the chat, like, not familiar with any of the Sonic games or characters like me? It doesn't seem like you're gonna get big money. Okay, well, I think we should just move on. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! I really thought I lost you there for a second. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, let's go. It goes right back to the slot machine. <laughs> 
Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, darlings? Are you hungry? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem. Just let me know if you need something later. Sure, if you need a bag of chips. If I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Well, how nice of you, Rouge. Get me a bag of chips. <laughs> Salt and vinegar, please. Okay, your alibi. Tell us your alibi, Rouge. Do you think you could go over your alibi again with us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé Chowig hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate... We appreciate your you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Bye bye Likewise, darling. <laughs> okay, these characters are very cute. I, I am liking them. I must say, while we were going through that whole ordeal with the egg that Rouge could have been a little nicer to me because I've always liked her as a design but oh well, it's okay. It, it was pretty <laughs> stressful. So it seems like a lot of y'all like Sonic and grew up with Sonic, huh? That's cool. Wait, there's zombie origins? What? That sounds amazing. Okay, did I miss anything? Got some poker chips. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist that always caused trouble for us and Sonic. Hmm, every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be <laughs> so surprised then. Ba -ba -ba, looking through oh, this table. Looks pretty sus. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any fun. Well, wanna play blackjack? Ready for some- Okay, so the game really wants us to go for it. I don't know how to play that. It's easy, let me show you. I don't know how to play that. <laughs> Candy, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. I'm just really wanting to search this world and appreciate its splendor. I think we're good, right? Oh, right there, jackpot. Anything else to... I think we're good? Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it! That's true, I could look up the lore, but it's so much more fun to hear from y'all. From the peeps. Love it oh so much that I know. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. Ugh, it's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. <laughs> Iron Chef, gosh dang. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious! I'd also like to show why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Come on, we gotta know! Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Huh! I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. 
Now if you could leave me be. I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Candy, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Candy. Okay, we are searching around. Candy, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out! I just think you should do it. Shark bait, ooh ah ah. <laughs> you know, I'll open the, ta the, the wardrobe for my good old buddy Tails. All right, watch a pro! Ah! <coughs> All this dust! You opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere! <laughs> oh, okay, well, at least that sucker's open. Hmm, Tails, do you uh, see this? A pull string? Candy! What? It's gotta activate something! What the? The back of the wardrobe opened! There is a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. This is the library. There's a secret passage in the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh! Quick, back through the passage before they spot us. Uh-oh. So, you know, that could be handy when uh, murdering someone. We're, we're just shook over here. <laughs> we need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage is added to your inventory. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Could you please tell us? No way! Journalist reporter, reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident! We'll hold you to it. Oh my god! So we got we got some crazy deep sonic uh, shadow lore apparently is what I'm seeing here in the chat. Cream the bunny can fly by flapping your ears. You learn something new every day, don't ya? Can I take your order? <laughs> not ordering a single thing till we get a birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. Obviously. <laughs> you have priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. Let's check out the chow band. Hey! It's the big chow band! Play us a ditty. Mm. Get it. They don't miss! Those chow understand music. Gotta take a look at that robot arm. There's another robot arm just doing its thing! Watch my voice transform into Tails as an employee! Do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Uh, oh no, but I'll give it a shot! Hey, robotic uh, arm, uh, can you uh, <laughs> bring me a cold chaos cola? Mm, nope, not listening to me. Ugh, uh, I'm quite parched too. I can run and get a chaos cola for you. Tails, you're so sweet. Uh, no, no, I'll be all right, but thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here after all. Tails is so sweet. Why did they make this character so lovable? Oh my god. Okay, let's see here. Uh, who 
own Sonic plushies? Tell me in the chat, and who do you own? And why? They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing those gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Okay, let's see here. Does someone print something out? Something sussy? Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Sonic rowing a boat. Sing a song. Sing us a song. You're the Sonic man. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful. We have been graced by the heavens with this sonic art. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. It's glorious. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. It's a trash can. Tails. No. Tails! I think we should check the trash bin! Every trash bin has been empty, Candy, and you've been disappointed every time! Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Candy? Absolutely. There's always something in the trash bin! Gosh dang it. Ugh. All right, let's check the trash bin. Wh what's this? <laughs> Nothing! Absolutely! Oh wait, actually it is something. Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. I, I thought you was going to say April Fools! <laughs> Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? Tails, it's not just trash, we need this. I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper is added to your inventory. Watch that be useful later on. Just you watch. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, wow, what a lovely view. These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, <laughs> I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Yeah, despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing! Tails can read my thoughts. That would be quite the ability if he had that on top of his uh, tail spinning abilities. <laughs> hmm. A key ring. Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Oh. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? <laughs> Yeah, let's take it! Keyring is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened! Yeah, I'm just reading the chat here and it, look at this juicy lore. Shadow is actually a clone. He was created to cure sickness and he was going to cure a human girl named Maria. Yeah, who he grew a close friendship with, but then he got- She got killed in front of him by soldiers! Tragic backstory levels at 100%- Oh my goodness! Holy cow! Shadow, uh, wow- Vowed to get revenge for Maria when he woke up. He was gonna destroy this planet because of how Maria wasn't given the chance to be cured and walk outside. Holy cow. That's intense! Holy- No wonder Shadow is depressed. Goodness. Candy, we can't move until we interrogate Shadow! Oh, yeah, I guess I was getting a bit ahead of myself. I was too busy learning his lore. I guess you were. Ugh, better get back to that investigation. 
Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold! You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Candy, we certainly will not! Uh, can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. I like your coffee, black like your soul. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay, when I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up just for you. A coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. <laughs> That's entertaining. All right, now it's time to start tyricating! Whoop bam Shadow! Shadow! Sh -sh 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 shadow Shadow! We have questions for you! <sighs> Will you three get out? I'm busy. Wait, we, we have an update to the Shadow Lord. But he then changed his mind because of Amy Rose, actually. She reminded him of Maria's last words she asked Shadow to give everyone a chance to be happy and live their lives. Oh my goodness, that's, that's kind of beautiful. And back we go. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Uh, uh, pray tell... What was I locking? Why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip! Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly! We're ready! According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason, and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car! Ah! Uh, what? So, you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do! He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Okay, more Shadow Lord. He then saves the planet before it's too late with Sonic sacrificing himself. He was actually supposed to die in that game, but he became popular. The team had to get him back. And that's my Shadow Lord. It was beautiful. Thank you. Now I know all the juicy secrets about Shadow, and I can understand the memes of why Shrek wants Shadow so badly. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Candy and I can explain the car change, however. Dun dun dun! Lion in the wardrobe. Mm, which the lion in the wardrobe? That's how you did it, Shadow. You were going to a magical land of Narnia. Candy! What evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have been gotten to the train, the, the, the train dining car? Oh my god! All right, uh, the keys? Obviously, the paper. It's the paper. It's the paper. It's the hidden passage. <laughs> okay, just catch my thoughts in order. Okay, let's start thinking, y'all. Papa! Oh, I gotta. Gotta collect those rings. Ooh, 55 onion rings. Get it, boys. Oh my Gandhi! What was that? Ah! 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 Oh no! My, my sweet onion rings! Don't touch my onion rings! Stop it! Ah! Ah! 
frick. <laughs> Not enough! That's okay, we'll, we'll do it. Oh, I, th I thought I had it. I'll give it another try. <laughs> that was that was epic. I love that. I got I gotta collect more. Ra oh, so you really can't touch those spikes because they will mess you up. Ah, give me those sweet rings, please. Let it happen. Ah, bat! I am I almost didn't make it. I can feel it in my in my soul. Ah! I barely made enough. Candy and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? Uh, a secret passage? Uh. So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Candy. It's all coming together! Hmm, this suggests my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. <gasps> Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory! A SONIC THEORY! <laughs> I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Ha! Seems Tails and I were, were more thorough than you! If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then... How did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, uh, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around and see people. Candy, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Uh, yeah, uh, Vector was with Knuckles, Espio's re- I, They're both legit. I know. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See? Things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio is behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Da da da! Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me to. That's what he told me to! OMG! He's lying. What was that, Shadow? What? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect! Why were you even searching for Espio? Hmm? Uh, uh, if you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if? Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's sus! That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. Are they all in on it? <gasps> I... Didn't know that Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Candy and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Candy, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? Uh, haha. <laughs> the Shadow's keyring? Maybe that? That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Let's go. Let go. Mm, get it. Ba, 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 ba. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, get it. We gotta get 60 rings. So do you have to, like, almost get... Oh, shite. That was not good! <laughs> I only had half the rings anyway, dang it. <laughs> I must try again. Nothing shall stop this sanic machine eating all these onion rings. That's right. I shall eat all of the good, greasy, golden, gooey onion rings. Does anyone really like the sound of the rings being collected? It's kind of satisfying. Ah, oh, uh, yes! Oh, yes! Yes! There's only one reason. There's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector! No way! Well, well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. <sighs> Interesting. So, let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Uh, if Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Uh, she's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Candy and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Hmm? Has everyone told everyone today giving you a birthday present? Oh, <laughs> most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay, just them being here is enough. LIES! DECEPTIONS, WOMAN! You watch your presents and you want them now. Okay, so, let's see, I also have some more on Amy. Yeah, let's learn about Amy a little bit, it is her birthday. She actually met Sonic because she was doing a tarot card reading. Her cards told her that she would meet her hero at a specific place, and like the cards, it happened! Okay, that's actually a pretty epic... <laughs> that's that's a pretty epic backstory! What can I say? It's so cute! Understood. Thank you, Amy. Candy? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. The, that's right! The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Hmm. He wanted to keep us away. Ha 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 ha! Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Candy. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Uh, uh, uh. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday! You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah! <sighs> uh, how dare Candy show me evidence! Uh, huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it! You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Uh, the, the, this? The thing in the, 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 the trash paper? It's trash paper, I hope. I knew the bin of trash was relevant. Take that, Tails. Oh my gosh, that was an uber super jump. That was not the right move. Ah! Oh. <laughs> no, I gotta do the freaking the freaking bouncy path. Okay. All right, give me give me some of them. Uh, give me some of them rings. Keep 
mm. getting hit. Mm. Delicious. How will I retain all these rings when I keep dropping them? Gosh dang it. I can't! I'm just hoping that by the skin of my teeth I'll, I'll make it somehow. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm, I'm just... No, that was... Mm, that's alright, we'll try again. Ugh, nuts. Let's give that another go. I gotta really collect those rings this time. I gotta concentrate and, and get hit. Just gotta make sure I get hit. Uh-oh. I don't know, y'all. I'm getting a little... I'm getting a little scared. Shoot. Yeah! Give me all the sweet wings! Yes! 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 You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer! Dot dot dot! It's of a band's ticket website! Tails! Don't! Gasp! This is Hot Honey's website! No way! I love them! Uh, haha, <laughs> Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with! Jeremy B is... Sigh... My current favorite! All the members have B after their name? Yes! <laughs> Isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So, the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's headed. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because... Uh, <laughs> is it because Shadow's a big Hot Honey fan or Shadow's buying tickets for Amy? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that Shadow's buying tickets for Amy because that's adorable. Yeah, uh, wh what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Yeah. I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Whoa! A big reveal. Sh Shadow! I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder? Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag! I want to know everything! <laughs> Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. <laughs> when I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live, and I looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the home page. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but could be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But, for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here. Somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this! Bingo! 
This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet. <laughs> and I... After I accused you too! How about this? Let's buy the tickets later and... To make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh... I don't know if... Too late! It's happening! <laughs> I can't wait! The show of a lifetime! Ugh... Fine... Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. Any Shadow and Amy shippers? I'm already shipping them off of this encounter. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for you, uh, your, uh, big, uh, scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Spit it out, Tails! Goodness above. But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car! I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end! We're more than happy to have you both. Candy, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then! Let's do it! Okay, Amy met Sonic and right away she falls for him, but she got kidnapped by one of Eggman's robots. The robot's name is Metal Sonic. Sonic saves her and leaves her breathless and wanting to become stronger. Oh my goodness. We then later see Amy in the first Sonic adventure and she is still infatuated with Sonic. She meets a bird who is getting chased by Eggman robots. Sonic pops up and she asks Sonic to help. Later, Amy gets kidnapped by a robot because she didn't want her new bird friend to be harmed. She then befriends one of the robots and helps the bird find their whole family. Holy cow, because, like, wasn't Sonic raised by an owl or was that just the movie? Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this, please! It's now or never. I'm ready to put that mother flipper who killed Sonic away! Conductor car. Here we go. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out! <laughs> Come on, time to investigate! Let's crack on! This robot arm has been completely torn off. Sussy! Yuck! How creepy! That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off. But the question is why? A, well, a confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this! Good thinking, Tails. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. That's gonna come up in the future. Ooh, spill the drink over here. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's this say on the mug? Cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. Da, da, ba, ba, ba. This is a this is a groove. I'm jamming over here. 
I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Do they teach you how to drive it? Oh, pff, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Everyone's agreeing about how epic Tails is. <laughs> Aw, guys! You know, this is still so adorable. Uh oh, what the heck? Is that a murder weapon? Hmm, what's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. <gasps> hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make a note of this. Blow dart is added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Okay. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information in advertisements. They're nice, the picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. <laughs> Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Ugh. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Yo, I want- I want Shadow's blessing on my marriage, please. Uh, yes! I wish that too! Gotta check that trash bin! You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin- LIES! <laughs> Go through the trash bin! You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. I don't want to be disappointed, I guess. A microphone! We can talk to the whole train with this! Hmm, should I say something? Sure, beatboxing. <laughs> beatboxing. If you can hear this, you're interesting. I would say, Shrek is love! Shrek is life! for the mic. Oh, hell yeah. It's doing it for me. <laughs> Love it. Just uh, offering our guests some uh, musical entertainment, you know? Mm, gotta give them that entertainment. That sweet, juicy... That was impressive, Candy! Thank you for sharing. Beautiful. Okay, I think we already... Okay, we've looked through this one. If I remember correctly. Okay, we looked at the cup. Is it time that we start? Ooh, oh, is that a fit? Saucy! Sus! Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get me up there. Well, your, your tails? I mean, okay. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Ugh. <sighs> ah, they're all so annoyed at me. <laughs> Oh, the, uh, the tail's right. Candy! Ugh! I done messed up. Oops-a-daisy, it's alright, I shall rectify my sins. Let's talk, Shadow. Let's talk. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Yeah, admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> it was it was a pretty epic laugh. 
<sighs> well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. Need all that evidence. Hmm. What do you think, Candy? Ready to solve this case? Yes. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. <laughs> Please report to the conductor car at once. Someone vented. Oh my gosh. <laughs> everyone. Dot, dot, dot. Uh-oh. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. About damn time. With assistance from Candy. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Uh, I think it's because Sonic is freaking dead! Vector? Real quick. Oh, I thought Vector was talking. He came into the frame! You can't blame me. Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. Lazy bum. Ready. Let's go eat him. I mean, get him! Oh. I mean... <laughs> oh my... Tails was actually bullied because of his two tails before he met Sonic. I think I've heard that one, actually. It's really sad! Tails is so cute! Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? Hmm. The air in here is so intense, I love it! Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has been has had s Wow, okay. The train has so many amenities I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SPL. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. Of course he does. <laughs> he seems like the type that would. So that's cool. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. That's exactly what the, the dude wanted. I'm fulfilling that wish. Except for poor Sonic. Uh, maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That'd be fun too! Ah! Uh, <gasps> mm. uh, what in the world? That's Amy's voice! Quick, where's Amy? Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, SpaghettiO! He, he's not responding to us! Sonic! Sonic! What? What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's binged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. Uh, I knew one of you would take this too far. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's getting serious. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! So, I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? Uh, uh, this is inexcusable! Sonic's hurt! I'm going to expose the monster who did this! Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to get you get I'm going to get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Me too! Same. We're going to figure out 
exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. S Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Candy, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> oh my gosh! What? Oh no, this is not good. This ain't good, y'all. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so let's deduce. I don't think it was Tails. I don't think it was Amy. Even though she can vent because she has the key but she has the key to every room Fuck, I don't know uh knuckles and vector were too busy playing a game SBO was reading apparently Rouge was casinoing it up right with blaze and then shadow was trying to get the birthday gift for Amy. I don't think it was any of them. What if it was somebody else who came to pin it on one of them? This is a pretty heavy accusation, you know, to throw around. What do I do, y'all? Who do you think I should pick? I'm kind of leaning towards Knuckles, uh, Rouge, and Espio. Vector, maybe? I don't know! I don't know! Maybe save, I don't know. Is this how you save? I think, yeah, it would make sense to me if it was like the train conductor dude. Maybe he's like secretly a bad guy. So is this how you save? Okay, we will save it. Uh, I think, I think all is good. We saved it. Let's, let's blame somebody now. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Mr. Poet guy is looking pretty sus. Frick. <laughs> ah. ah, they all have good stories. I don't know. Frick. Who should I vote for, y'all? Or I guess it's up to me. I, you know what? I'm sorry, Espio. You're looking a little sussy. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Uh. Uh. I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of which you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the little saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right! Candy, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's lullaby? Hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I have found a hidden passage from the library car. To the lounge car. The hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all of your questions with a flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true. I didn't miss a question. But I think Candy and I could explain that too. Candy? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? A ninja like him speed rates. Espio is a ninja! He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined! What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it! Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi! What? Th that's absurd! Memorizing a whole book! 
I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered! Uh, since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw in something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden! That's right! How would Espio have known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Candy and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Candy? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Gasp! Alright, everyone, tell me who I should click on and I will click on them. I'm leaving the fate of this in the chat. What will you choose? The suspense is getting to me! Alright! Don't be shy, just holler! <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> yeah, I think. Let's go with Amy. That wasn't exactly who I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint? They told us we can see something later and now's the time to take a look! Who told us that? Who here has evidence to prove? <laughs> Your mom! Your mom has the evidence to prove that Espio knew about the hidden passage! Frick if I know. Uh, shall we... Go with the scapegoat of Shadow? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't exactly who I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint. Okay, let's try... Rouge! Rouge! We need to see those blueprints! Oh, that... Hey, that was some smart thinking. Good job. Blueprints? Blueprints? You stole blueprints?! Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. Good job, chat. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passages. Hmm, what makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Candy, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio swiped them from the conductor. Espio found them before Rouge did! Cause he's a ninja! Ba -ba -ba -ba. You know what? He's a ninja though, so... There's a code included with these blueprints I thought was odd. That code is classified information! Could these blueprints have belonged to... The conductor? That, that makes a lot of sense actually. I remember the conductor pulling blueprints out to show me during... Sometime during my my interview! Uh, 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 uh. Espio could have swiped the blueprints, found out about the passage, and then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library car! No way. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic! Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose! The logistics are still vague, but Candy and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered! I'm unsure how much harm Espio can cause Sonic, but Candy and I have evidence on how it was done! Ugh. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? <laughs> Was it the robot arm or the dart? Probably the dart. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Candy. What would Jesus- I mean Sonic do? 
60 rings. We got this. <laughs> the pressure is mounting. Oh god, I, I don't know if I can take the pressure. Ba, 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 ba. Gotta keep it spicy, you know what I mean, you Oh shoot, this is this is gonna Oh Gandhi! That's gonna get a little this spicy! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Ah! Okay, that might not have- Oh, god, good, god, good, 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 god. Okay, I gotta go on the, the little- The little bouncy trampoline thing. Oh, goodness. Let's do it. Okay. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Da -da 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 -ow. Okay, I gotta- oh. Nailed it. Oh, 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 shoot, but not enough rings. Gosh, diddly darn dang it. It's okay, let me try that again. Collect those rings before the time runs out, oh baby. Gotta, gotta collect those rings. Wait, so like, was I actually right that Espio might actually be the guy who killed Sonic? That's kind of a surprise, I'm not gonna lie, for me. What the frick, I quit the space bar, gosh dang it. Ah, shoot! I love how we're playing Sonic even though he's dead. That's pretty funny to me. I missed the, the thing. Frick! I gotta get my head in the game! Guys, I need words of encouragement. So that I can get those 60 sweet onion rings. Gah! <laughs> it's cute though, it's really fun. I think I think that they did a good job with the game. Okay, let me Yes. Oh! Closer this time! So close. I'm I was five rings off. Just challenging my arcade game. Uh oh my god! I clicked the space bar and it wouldn't register, gosh dang it! I will not give up. We must find out if Espio was the actual murderer or if it was the train conductor dude. I don't know though, guys. He loves his wife. Like, really? He was gonna murder someone? That seems a little weird, doesn't it? Ah, frick. Ah, no! Shoot! <laughs> so, how's everybody's weekend? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm sweating over here. Oh my goodness. Stop! Sonic, please! Retain your rings! Uh, yeah, they got me. Oh, they got me. Uh, yeah, I definitely did not make it that time. Break. This is this is rough, everybody. Okay. No! Flipping flip! I'm trying really hard not to say the F word. Just for you, YouTube. But you might just make me. Now, statistically, I should be able to do it by the fifth time. We have proven this in other games. That when I get stuck, it takes me about five times. Okay, 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 I'm feeling it. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Oh, oh I'm feeling it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that deserves a celebratory dance. Oh. This blow art, blow darts, was found here in the conductor room. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Thank you, y'all. Yeah. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Uh, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. 
Hmm, plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Hmm, of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, oh, shoot, that's a good point, but Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take this hidden passage back! If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library! Candy and I know another way it could have been done. Whoa, we do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Okay, mm -mm -mm -mm. this. The broken robot arm. I don't think this is the right direction. What evidence shows another route SP? Oh, pff. I want I just wanted to shove that robot arm in their faces, you know? The blueprints? Is that what it is? All right. Yeah, of course it's the blueprint. No, I just wanted them to pull my robot arm finger. There we go. Ah, oh, it's time for another one of these. Oh goodness. Oh, you're not- you're not gonna get me this time, game. Oh, frick, ouch. Proceeds to- oh my god, die. Oh my gosh. They're trying to trip me up. And they're succeeding. Uh, kind of. Not- Oh my god, he No! My rings! My, my sweet onion- Oh, I did it! Oh, yes! Yes! Pro gamer. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Uh, there's there's a path above the conductor car and it goes all the way to the dining car. Uh, huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Though the vent over through the vent over there? Uh, the vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. Mm -hmm. My word, there's a path back here. Back there and a track. A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train! Hmm, so you're saying... I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Uh... Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both could have fit up there. Uh, Espio's right, this is feeling flimsy, Tails. Hmm, I need an answer. My name is getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Uh, the broken robot arm? Is that... is that it? Phew, now to think about my argument. Okay, so it's this time. You can do this, Candy. You can do this. Oh my goodness. Oh no, 70 sweet onion rings? Oh shoot! Uh oh! Crap! Oh my god, be goodness gracious, Jesus Christ, Scooby Doo zoinks! Oh, like, man. Uh oh, I am. I am definitely not there yet! But maybe I can be. Uh oh. I'm missing, like, every onion ring! Quick! Oh, shoot. I was close. I was close. Oh, no. I gotta try this again. It's hard to do when your nose is itching. Does anybody know that feel? Mm. That's right. Sweet victory will be mine! Frick. Oh, no. This is hard. Oh, I'm just, like, hitting every spike. Frick. <laughs> I'm seeing how hard I can fail. Okay. Hmm. 40 more rings. I don't know, y'all. Maybe we can do it. <laughs> Yo, 
Yep, that was, uh... Alright, there we go. There you go, Nose. Happy day. Alright, here we go. We gotta focus. Gotta get those sweet gamer moves. Ah, oh, frick. <laughs> it's alright, at least I'm having fun. That's what- Oh my gosh, I am really screwing this up. You know what? I don't think there's a way, so I'm just gonna die right there. Let's start over. There's gonna probably be, like, a time where you have to get a hundred rings and then... Oof, that's gonna be... That's gonna be the time of all time. Ah! Crap! I keep going too far. I'm being lazy. Okay, you know what? Alright, let's try this again. I can do this. I gotta get my head in the game. Come on, Candy! You're a pro gamer! Gosh dang it! Don't let us down! I don't know, pro gamer is struggling a little bit right now, y'all! Zero deaths for- <laughs> All the deaths! made it that way, that round anyway, so it's okay. He's doing me a service. Stop touching the dang spiky things, Sonic! Ah, oh, shoot. I took one for the team. Come on, we gotta, we gotta know how this ends. God, I'm so close, though! What the frick? Great. <laughs> I, I need to be more motivated. I need to be way more motivated, y'all. Oh my gosh, I keep touching the spikes! It's difficult, okay? God! God, stop touching the freaking spikes! Oh my god! That's okay. Candy, come on! I don't know, guys. I'm- I'm struggling a hair. I think- <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Frick, I wish I had a s WHERE'S MY ENEMY NOW?! <laughs> edit out all this part of me not getting it. <laughs> Damn, that was that was not it. That was not it. I, I can't. I can't. I can! I can't. I can! I can candy do it. I can can deliciously do this. Pro gamer. Pro gamer. Pro gamer! Pro gamer! Gah! Pro gamer! Oh frick. Not pro gamer. Yes! Pro gamer! Pro gamer. Pro gamer. Gah! No! Pig! No! Jeez, I got too much in my head with that. Thank you all for still watching. I can do this. I, I swear. I can do this. No! Frick! I keep not even dodging that one. I think that's my mistake. No! Dang it! Okay, I need to just take a breath. I need to take a moment. Take my take my drink. I know I have can in my name, gosh dang it.
don't know, I think I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> the stream's gone a lot longer than I was anticipating, which of course is okay, but, you know, I have my limits. But I have to finish, I have to- I have to know who murdered Sonic. I- I have to know! Gosh dang it! Alright, bounce around left to right, okay. Frick, I keep getting that. Gosh dang it, alright. That, that's what- yeah, see, I keep doing it. It's just, I'm too tired. No excuses! Pro gamer. Guys, I'm- I'm sorry. I need a moment. I need a moment to cry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Okay. It's okay. I just gotta I just gotta keep going. That's that's what I've done. them uh, way instead of going into a different lane instead of what I've been doing. Okay. Dang it. Gosh diddly dang it. I don't know y'all. This is I'm I'm getting sloppy. another onion ring game thing after this one too so that's and I did pretty good the first round I don't know why I'm just not my brain is just not working right now all right go on a different path got me. <sighs> Gosh. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a pep talk. You can do this. You're gonna be fine. You just get through it. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We need a we need a death montage now. You know what, I'm not gonna give up hope. I I believe I can do this. I almost did it that first time. I don't care if it hits me too many times. <laughs> no, seriously, everyone watching this is like, wow, was she just trying to get hit? Yes. I'm not able to think right now. Okay, die and let's try this again. That's right, I'm gonna be dedicated. I'm not gonna give up. I don't care how effing tired I am, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it somehow. That was closer. We're getting closer.
Not gonna let that dissuade me. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that deserves a dab. Yeah. Finally! There better not be any more of those freaking ring games! Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of those robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said that there's a track the robot arm uses that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car! C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? G I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails. But you have to admit that these are a lot of coincidences. I thought I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet. But I have found one inconsistency. Ba ba ba! What's the inconsistency, Tails? What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Hmm. Like I know. Maybe Amy. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic! But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise! That scoop came from... You, Espio? <laughs> no, of course not! Amy must have misheard me. Now looking a little, uh, a little suspicious there, Espio. Misheard you? Mm, yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with the hidden passage? And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days! I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone. That it only could have been one person. It was you, Espio! It was you! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! Uh, <laughs> oh my god! It's Sonic! Uh, hey guys! S Sonic! You're okay! Sonic? And just as we solved the mystery! Espio was the murderer! R right. Right. <sighs> Espio jumped me. In the conductor car! Dang it. You got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's not lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. 
Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. <clears throat> Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? N no. We all need to get off this train! We're not safe. W what? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here! He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train, but what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky! Da 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 da! A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious! They, uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview! Right, as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Okay, so a bad nick is a, an Eggman robot, if I'm reading that correctly. Okay, uh, good to know. I'm so glad that we have <laughs> Sonic lore keepers <laughs> in the chat. Dot dot dots. Mm. Delicious dot dot dots. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey! Stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, slicing it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Yeah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but... I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Crazy story, y'all. Oh no. Hmm. <sighs> They're all going dot dot dot. Everyone, I have to... I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Gah! Gah! Gasp! E yeah, we already knew that. Mm. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit by a blow dart. Hmm. I was just following the rules. <laughs> oh my gosh, you don't say. <laughs> it's true. Let's see. What is that? So use this blow dart on Sonic. Okay, here we go. He's re Tails is reading it for us. It says, Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Barrage Express staff. Uh, the Barrage Express staff. Okay, got it. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Because it clearly sure as hell wasn't me. Hmm, come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. <gasps> Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Candy, who do you think attacked Sonic in the hand and Espio the blow dart? Wow, so I was actually right? Like, Espio <laughs> did it? Oh my goodness, he was the murderer in the game. That's epic. Okay. The conductor of the train- I think it was the train itself. The conductor is innocent. I'm 
believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. What I know of Do like Dr. Eggman, is that his name? Like, at least in the Sonic movies, like he was really good with robotics, right? Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while. So, I think... The train itself is plotting something! Da -da -da First we learned the train's a bad Nick, and now it's out to get us! Oh, wait, wait, wait! We, duh, the bad Nick, yeah. Okay, you know what? This just shows that I don't really know the Sonic games, but I'm learning. I'm learning the sweet, juicy lore. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. <laughs> train! Uh-oh. Come out and show yourself! Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer! I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Wow, they're just beating the shit out of the train. Great. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? <laughs> Uh-oh. Stuff's about to get real serious. What did you two do? Is that... the conductor? Here, I can get him down. Um, so I said I was gonna do Sparky's voice. I'm not sure if that matches now, but... Don't touch him! <laughs> Robot nurse plus so Sparky? I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing our your little game to figure it out. Ha 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 ha. You were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman. After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What? What? What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone, grab something. Uh-oh. Which of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Ho, ho. Okay. Whoa, buddy. Shit's getting intense right now. Whoa! Uh, Sonic? Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Uh, No! No! I can't keep my footing! Ah! Thud. It all ends with a thud. Are we... Uh-oh. <laughs> a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets! Ah! Ah! My head! Tails! Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? G Hello? <sighs> no need to yell, bud. S -S Sonic! I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? <sighs> Hanging in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But uh, where's everyone else? A great question, but for now... Are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog? Asking about me? I'm doing amazing. <laughs> I'm doing amazing! Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. 
Good idea. Lead the way. Hey! One of those rheumatic arms are here too! Yo! It swiped at me! Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. What is this? The yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Uh, well, how does Dr. Eggman sound? Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? <laughs> I, uh, I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Ho ho ho! You spiky little blue pest! Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains! <laughs> you created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me! Uh, ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. <laughs> the infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. So, I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. <laughs> Let me guess. Another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear great giant spheres. It's science! <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. <laughs> Seems you managed to take the train. You make the train a quite upset. <laughs> did you... Did you know that this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bad Nick is normally very basic. Just kill the Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision and report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. <laughs> Uh-oh. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. <laughs> The train wants to deliver us to Eggman! For a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train? It may ask for something more... interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> he always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. 
This whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? <sighs> I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey. Hmm? I can tell this situation's getting to you. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here, helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap-before-you-think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Because I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Believe in yourself! No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out, Sonic! The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, Sonic, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head-on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back! Whoa, and there he goes. Oh my, oh, what the, holy cow! Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open! Ha! Now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Uh, okay, let's do it. Let's just jump on in. That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Yeah, I gotta say, I thought my Eggman voice was pretty sexy. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! The return! It's okay. I gotta, I gotta stay positive. I can do it. My last adventure, maxing out my ring count, gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this! Oh, great. And now, since it's the full screen, my brain is like, What? This is different. It's so big. Shite! Gosh dang it, it really wants me to- Okay, you know what? We can get 50. We can get 50, that's less than 70. I just gotta hit those little orange, uh, jumpy pads. The little what? jars. I gotta get those jars. I can do it. What? Come on, get the jar, yes! Get that jar, oh. Get that onion, oh, frick. <laughs> it's okay, we did it! Just wait till I- Okay, so he had the country accent. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go! Hm. Oh no, is it gonna make me do this for every freaking character? I'm screwed. Huh? I'm sc I'm screwed! Shh. No! It's okay, it's okay. I've done this before. I can do it again. I have to have faith. Huh? I gotta believe in myself, just like Sonic said. I gotta, I gotta believe. Yes! I gotta believe. Wait. Fudge! Fudge monkeys! I can do this. Scramble him and fire him up. Huh? This is, this is gonna be, um... Buckle up, everybody. This is gonna be the stream of all time. I didn't jump on that. I don't know, maybe there's a way to still get the points? No, absolutely not. I think this would be a good time to get a snack. 
nope, nope, I gotta do this. I gotta, I, I gotta do it. I know, I'm running into everything. It's kind of huh? embarrassing at this point. Cause I'm not huh? a tired little candy. But that's okay, because I will persist. Hey, Stream Archive, what's up, huh? y'all? How you been enjoying watching me run into everything? It's been pretty funny, right? Freaking space bar. My brain isn't gonna be doing this tonight, but I'm actually gonna pull it off. Just watch it. I'm not even trying at this point with that, because I already know that I'm just, it's not happening. It just pulls Jay in to do this part for me. Hey Jay, you wanna you wanna play some Sanic? <laughs> it's okay. I can do this. How much do I wanna save my friends? What would Sonic do? Would he give up and and, and get a snack? No, because he's Sonic. He's not he's not gonna do that. <sighs> I'm telling you. Happen. I know that I can do it one of these times. Can someone tell me, does this game literally have it where you have to do it for every single character? Because if that's if that's the case, I might I might struggle just a hair. Just a, just a good old little Sonic hair, you know? Guys, I'm I'm having I'm having a struggle. That's okay. Okay. Maybe this is why I didn't play the Sonic games. Huh? I much more preferred Mario. <laughs> I like huh? saving the princess, okay? I've been collecting onion rings. Gosh dang it. Okay, huh? give me that. Alright. Okay, somehow I made it. Somehow I made it. Okay. You all came for us. That's, you're damn right I did. Okay, let's move. The train wants us to keep us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is getting off this stupid train. Let's go. Yippee! Oh, it's gonna get harder. Great, I love that. Uh-oh, I probably needed that jar. Oops. Huh? Pop, pop, oops. Huh? Oops. Oops. Huh? <laughs> okay, I see where I went wrong. I knew I needed the, the, the freaking, freaking jar. Pop, 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 pop. You know what this game is gonna do for me? It's gonna make me so pro at Sonic. That I won't be able to help myself. Oh, oh shoot. How do you get that jar? Maybe you jump on it? Frick. Hmm? Boing! Hmm? Alright, alright, hmm? looking good. Looking good. Yes! Okay! We have. Sonic! It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic! Wow! Don't rub it in! Okay, I'm just kidding. She's not a bitch. I love her. I love you, Rouge. You're good. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. Great. Now we gotta we gotta save Tails and Amy. Please let this be the last one, because I'm crying inside. Oh god. <laughs> Commit yeet right off the bat. Hmm. You know, at least through this what? suffering, I like the music. No, I'm not suffering, y'all. I'm having fun. I just keep getting hit. What? All right, and I... It's okay. Oh my god, yes. Oh, hit me. Hit me harder. <laughs> no! So close. Thank you. I I will I will beat this. Hmm? I 
will I will do it. You know what? They can Yeah, hit me. Oh, hit me. Got this. You know, you guys aren't watching me to to play well. You're watching me because secretly inside of yourselves you love me. And you don't care how many times you have to watch me fail. Because you know, in the end, I'll make it. You know that Candy ain't giving up. I, I love how this is probably my longest stream. I don't even know how long it's been going. I'm gonna guess... Four hours, maybe? Ha <laughs> ha, baby! Oh, shit! <laughs> I lost all my rings in that! Oh, fuck! I was trying not to say F this whole stream, and I I messed up. I'm sorry, Sonic, please. I'm sorry, Sonic. Sonic, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> Fudge! Hear me aggressively uh, tapping the keyboard. You know you'll make it. Okay. Mm, yeah. <sighs> Got that. Yes, okay. Do I absolutely need that? Oh my Gandhi! Oops. Pop! Ooh. Uh, I got the I got those moves! I got those moves, baby! I got those moves! Fudge! I don't know guys, are we gonna make it to five hour stream? Is that my April Fool's joke what? today? It's a five hour stream. Oh gosh. What? Okay. Rack those what? points. Rack those points, baby. Oh god! Come on! No! It's so close! I just keep getting. I keep not getting the. Yes, keep dying so we can get to five hours. Okay. Your wish is my command. Huh? <sighs> oh shit. Okay. I feel good. I feel good. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Sonic, no fudge. Sonic. Sonic. Self die right there. Okay. Oh my goodness. <sighs> One ring to rule them all, but unfortunately, I need 65 of them to rule. Guys, somebody tell me who's familiar with the game. How many rings, like sessions, do I have to do to get the like, other characters? Like, is am I am I close? Am I close? God. <laughs> Okay, I'm- that's- that's a little- that was a little messy. Gah. She is. Okay, so, uh, here we go again. <laughs> here we go! What? We. What? Okay. Oh god! Oh yeah, make sure to hit the spike just for you guys. I'm trying- I'm really- it's- it's like confusing to my brain. <laughs> okay, you also have shadows, so maybe two more? <sighs> Gotta get good! <laughs> Gotta go fast! Oh what? god. Oh. Huh? Uh. Yeah. 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 Mm. Get it, Sonic. Get it. Get it. I blew up a deal. I blew. If I was green, I would die. If I was green, I would die. Oh shit. No. No. Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh no. 
Okay. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. See no more. Let's go. Oh, God. Guys, somebody tell me how many more of this do I have to do? Because I'm, I'm scared. I'm, I'm a little freaked out. I do like this part of the game, but, like, uh, you know, I just... I just want to know for science sake. Oh! Frickle, frackle, mick, pickle, packle. This is the last one of all? And we have to get 55? Please, say it's true. Oh shoot, there is an onion jar that I could have gotten on that side. That's okay. It's okay. Gotta go first. Gotta go first. Gotta go first. It's gonna be fine. No! Freaking frick! I, I think me and my space bar need to have a chat after this because I don't know why. Or maybe it's just my brain lagging. Oops, didn't get the jar again. Oh no, it's green! Come on! So you guys are watching me go insane playing Sonic. That's great. We love that. <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna just... We're just gonna... Yeah. Four hours! Damn, you going strong, bud. That's right. Me and my Sanic. Yeah, screw you, Onion Jar. I don't I don't need you to finish the level. That's right, I'll I'll make it without you. And I'll hit a few rings off in the meantime. That's right! Oh uh, yeah! Finally! Oh my god! Yeah. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Heh! <laughs> There's no way to sh- That's no way to treat the birthday girl! You're right, I'm ready to stop this train! Time to finish this! And I did it all without having to have Jay come in here and play it for me. I'm- I'm proud of myself. Oh, there's probably gonna be another level in Sanic <laughs> Guys, it would have to be pretty severe for me to call upon Jay because Jay has his strengths with games and I have my strengths with games. So there could be the possibility that even if I got my husband to come and just play one level for me, he might still not be able to do it. So it's okay. I powered through it and now we're here. Excellent work tracking these pests. Now, hurry to me. Can't even remember right now. Okay, what was his voice? I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land, and probably another death egg. <laughs> oh no, please don't turn us into robots, not the robots. Ho 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 ho! Haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Maybe I will turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman! Gah! Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up! I... Okay. Sparky time. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? You mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Bring me those goddamn furries. <sighs> that Eggman. Hmm... <laughs> I must get my wish. Yeah, I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Ba ba ba. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh god. Why did I why did I know it wasn't over? I just I just knew. Oh yeah, you know, I couldn't get through it without at least touching. Oh. Fuck! Fudge! Hmm. Alright. No worries. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Oh, suck my dust. Oh. Look 
get off my shoes. Bitch zombie hands. Oh no, not the freaking zombie hands. Ugh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's coming together. It's coming together. Oh, it's coming together. Watch this. Oh, sick moves. Oh, sick moves. Oh, sick moves. What the frick was that? What was that? What was that game? Excuse me? Yeah, it looks like the train has a pansexual flag on the side. That's freaking sick! You love that here. Okay. Pew. Mm. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, my, my, my sonicles. What? Not my sonicles. Shit. No! Oh, flicking flip flops. Five hour stream. Five hour stream. Five hour stream. I don't know. Will we make it? Who knows? Oh, shite. At this point, who knows? <laughs> Happy April Fools, y'all! I love how I didn't know this game existed until last night, and here I am playing it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Ow. He grabbed my Sonic ass! Okay. Clutch. 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 Yeah. Oh! Baby, no. <laughs> no! Let's go! Okay, is this the final level? Is this the final final or is there more after this? Because I don't know how much more I can take. I need that, that 3 a.m. Del Taco right now. Guys, did you know that 3 a.m. Del Taco slaps with a force that I can't even comprehend at 3 a.m.? Have you guys been to Del Taco? make really good what? burgers even though that it's like a Mexican uh, restaurant. Frickle frackle! There's something I'm missing here. Mm. Tired Candy Brain versus Sonic. Who will win? Yeah, baby! Oh, my Gandhi! I, I did that. Oops. At least the music is beautiful, and I think I've said that like 50 times now. Oops. Well, I guess I guess they need to make a Del Taco in Iceland. This is so good! Please help me. Oh, please help me. Okay, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna get those onion rings! Babe, no! And I messed it up right there. Like, I was doing good until the very end. <sighs> hmm. F in the chat. Alright. It's okay. Like I said, I'm not giving up. If I have to stream for 10 hours, I will. I'm gonna get this game done. And you know, to my credit, this was all voice acted out. It wasn't me just clicking through the, the voices. Oh, fudge monkeys. Thank you. I try to give that, you know, very well thought out, beautiful voice acting. And sometimes it takes a hot second to get through all of the dialogue in these visual novels when you're giving that sweet voice acting performance. Oh shoot, I keep forgetting that. Okay, that's right. Can someone please answer me? Is this is this the last one? <laughs> I hope so. But you know what? If not, I'm gonna just keep on going. Gosh, okay, I was closer. It has to be this last one, please. It just has to be. Because, yeah, we haven't had zombie hands 
what's been coming out of the earth up until this point. I mean, that's gotta be the final level, right? Right? Okay, finally. None of you could possibly understand. Oh, it's the it's the freaking train arm, derp. Derp de derp, derp derp, of course. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up! Just shut up! Oh no! Why? 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 No! It's okay. Ow. <laughs> I feel nothing at this point. Oh my god, that scared me. Thank god I got through that. Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Uh, this is messed up. This is, this is, oh, okay. Ah. Uh, Oh well. <laughs> mm, take my rings, just take them. That's right, take my... <laughs> I love how I only had like 17, that was great. Oops. Oh, 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 I tripped on you. Oh, oh, oops. Okay. Ah, not enough rings. Wow, what a surprise. Five hour street. Let's go. Oh, oh. Ow, what the frick? I didn't. Wow, my brain didn't process that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, brain. We're good. Jeez. Like, like, jeez, Scoob! Uh. Oh my, oh my, ow. Ow. Ow! Uh, stop hurting me! Okay, I'm letting myself die in that one, because, yeah, that was sorry. Not good. If you've stuck around this long and watching me go through Purgatory with Sonic, you were a real one. I want you to know that. Ow. Yeah, okay. Here we go. We can do this. You like the moaning? Do you want more of it? I can I can supply more of it. Oh, there, there's the game over. Sorry guys, Sonic dies for real. I can I can do more of it. I do, I've got this, you know? Like I've Every time that I thought that I was going to give up, I didn't. And I just kept going. That's what you do, you know? You just gotta... You gotta keep going. You gotta keep plowing through the difficulties of life. This is going to be a motivational uh, thing for everybody. If I can do this, you, you can do literally anything. Don't give up. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Don't let your... Nightmares become real with Sonic. Oops. I was trying to get the, the, the bouncy thing. Didn't work. And I can't be the worst at this game. Like, I will 1000% tell you that. I'm sure there's gotta be people who struggle with this part more than I do. I know that they're out there. There's always a bell curve in life. There's always a bigger fish and there's always a smaller fish. It's 
actually kind of funny, like, how much my... There we go. Okay, hit that. Nice. Oh! Oh! Uh. Oh my... Oh! Uh. Sonic did... Oh my god, Sonic did you... Oh! Uh. The only... I, <laughs> I clicked through it too fast! <laughs> Shit! Let me speak to him! Unhand him! Alright, I mean, let him speak. Fine, stop this! What I told you, we'd be with each other forever! I was a much younger man. I'm, I'm getting old. I'm, I'm getting tired. Gah. Excuses. <sighs> Excuses! How dare you abandon me! I, I'll, I'll be lonely. So lonely. It's glitching out, okay? Why must you insist loneliness upon me? Bum, bum, bum. Uh -uh. uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, stop! What are you doing to me? Please, don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Oh my god, it's... Oh, it's going. It's going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, what? Uh, what's happening? I'm scared! I don't know what's happening! Okay! I'm worried! Ah, what the hell is that? What is that? What is that? Oh my god! No! Don't touch my butt! Don't touch my butt! Don't you dare! Yeah. <laughs> of course! I freaking jumped at the wrong time. That was that was beautiful. Mm. Prime roast. Uh yeah, okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Calm down, you got this. You gotta, you gotta do this. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow! <laughs> this is, this is great. This is great. Okay. This game just keeps on gaming. Uh, 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 nope. Nope, not a... Ow. Don't tickle me there. Stop. Oh, my Gandhi. I did it. Thank goodness. Please let that be the last one. Please. I, I have a few... Oh, oh. Hey, that was pretty spicy. Pretty spicy, Sonic. Looking, looking pretty spice. Oh, oh, there's, there's that thing that they were talking about, the bird. Oh, the, yeah, that's right. Oh, Flicky! This is just like the lore card, where my ex-best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this is... really is a bad neck. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. Mm, on it. Let's show our full power! Okay, and we're going. We're going. Oh, oh. Mm. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no! Gosh, there's so many flashing things. What's happening? Please, if it makes me go to 100, I'm gonna cry because it's, it's too much. Oh yeah, I, I did it! I did it! Dab, just for you. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. That's right. Nope. Nope. Not, not today. Ouch. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Ow. I keep freaking out, guys. Now I'm really just messing it up. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I, I can do this. Okay. Okay. Is it because there's a hundred that I have to do? Is that what is that what is happening? Ow, shoot. That's probably what's gonna happen, huh? There's gonna be a hundred. 
<laughs> don't worry, it's, I'm a little worried over here too. Wow, it just says don't worry. Be very worried. Be very extremely worried. No, I'm just joking. We're we're gonna be fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes it's making me worried too. They just keep going higher. out of my pocket. Oh. Ow. At this point, I just came. Like I said, not not gonna give up. But it might it might take me a hot second, and that's okay. Why do I even lose it to Oh, it's the sparkly thing. I I can't tell anymore. There's just too much going on in the screen. Right now, what's gonna happen is if I make it through the level, it's just gonna be a miracle. Because I don't know how I'm doing it. Sonic! I'm sorry that you have to do this. I'm, I'm sorry this is your existence, having to chase those those rings. But maybe it's a metaphor to the rat race of life. Why can't Sonic just paint a picture and Bob Ross it up instead of having to do all these onion rings to save his friends in the train? Yeah, he just- he just got murdered! This is a little cruel to have to have Sonic do, you know? He's tired, he's hungry, he's alone, he just wants to- I don't know, is, is Amy and him a couple? I seriously don't know. Oh my gosh, this is just looking not so good for me, guys. Okay, uh, probably the answer is Zen. I have, to, I have to remain calm. I have to let my brain just, just work. Ah, oh, shoot. Just jumps into it. Ha <laughs> sweet of me. Oh, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Okay, I'm getting closer. That's, that's good. When in doubt, go another path. Just, just like what was said. All right, another path, another pathway. Okay, that's where it should go. Because I think what I need to get through is to get one of those underground jars that I keep missing. Ow! Why is there so much going on? Goodness above! It's because it's supposed to be difficult. I love how I came to play this game just to do the visual novel aspect and I was like, oh, it's gonna be easy! Cause like, <laughs> there's not really any real gaming involved that I have to like, do, right? <laughs> not that, not that I can't do real gaming, I can, it's just... <sighs> you know, visual novels are real gaming, right? Who am I to say? It's a game, it's a game! Ow. Right? Yeah, I don't- I don't know, guys. Can someone look up if they're- if you have to do a hundred rings? I, I need to know this information. Like, how angry is this train? I don't even know what's happening anymore! <laughs> okay, where is the turn where you have to you, you land on the ring? I keep missing that. It's because my brain is now trained to do a specific path, and that doesn't- it's not really working. Here, take all my rings. Okay, next opportunity to die, I'm doing it. It's time to commit me. Alright. Alright, let me- Get on my brain. 
Yeah, because it is very brand new at the time that I'm playing this. So there's not really information on... I was trying to get it. I really was. I have to nail that, that little onion ring uh, thing to get through this, I feel like. Come on. Okay. I jump at that time because there's a hand there. Okay, that makes sense. My brain's trying to defend me, but it's like, brain, no. You gotta, you gotta jump off of that. Yeah, it literally just came out today, so there's no information on this game. I didn't get to play it before. I, and like I said, this is my first Sonic game. This is really difficult. <laughs> but the important thing is I'm doing it, and... We're having fun, we're jamming out, it's a Saturday night. Hit <laughs> literally just hit by everything. Okay. Yep. That's right. Okay. Oh come on! I I try to go fast and it's it's not fasting, man! Yes! Yes! Oh. Yes, take them. Take them, dang it. So we could be stuck here a while. That's alright. I may have met my match with this level. Freaking hard! You guys might think, oh, I could do this easily. I don't know, guys. It's it's the kind of hard. <laughs> it's it's kind of rough. There's just too much stuff happening. So my brain is like, okay, go this way, and then it it doesn't it doesn't work. <laughs> I can do this. It's just it might take me a bit. In the meantime, what do you what do y'all want to talk about? <laughs> I mean, we do have that good old Sonic lore. What's the most messed up thing in the Sonic lore besides the shadow stuff? They just keep grabbing me. I can't seem to avoid it all because it's just it's too much for my brain to process. Okay, you'd cry in this level? I'm- I'm almost there. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Come on, come on! It's like, they make it out of the way, that yellow button. A little bouncy pad, it's just too out of the way. Ring it up, baby. Ouch. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yeah, I need like the really messed up Sonic lore. Like if we're gonna if we're gonna be here and suffering my purgatory, we might as well learn a little something something about Santa. Oh come on! That's so it's too close! Sonic, I'm so sorry! Oh my god, your life! Your life depresses me! It's too fast! I'm getting so frustrated! Good! Finally! <laughs> yes! <laughs> of course! I'm trying to avoid the spikes, trust me! It's uh, it's, it, it happens too fudging fast! Gosh, 
do it! <laughs> I love how every time it seems like I on purpose get hit, and I'm not trying to. It's just hard. Uh, I'm sweating, y'all. I'm sweating. I just, I can't seem to avoid it. I think it's because inside I've given up and I need to change that. Okay, look. You're not giving up. You can do this. You've done much, much, much harder things in your life. You've gone through multiple surgeries. You've gone through all kinds of very messed up stuff. You can do this. This is all you can do. To hit those, it's just <sighs> okay. I'm not, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hi, okay, what's the stream time, guys? Are we at five hours yet? Or are we approaching six? I have no idea. I'm not trying. Almost to five. Okay. Ah, here's one. Knuckles is the last living echidna in the Sonic universe and has a duty to keep the Master Emerald safe in a floating island called Alien Angel Island. That's, that is that is pretty messed up. I will admit that. It's not fun being the last. He's the last echidna. There's a god named Chaos that lives in the emerald that Knuckles protects. Okay, interesting. This last part, I guess I just don't my like, I'm not sure what's going on. What even hit me? I can't even see anymore. sure how people would do this. Like, I know that people can do it, but I'm just kind of like, okay, like, <sighs> Knuckles always likes to think the best of everyone, so he always gets tri tricked by Eggman. Okay, so that explains, didn't that happen in the movie? Am I remembering that correctly? Like, that Knuckles was, like, working with Eggman? Which, by the way, was a beautiful movie because Jim Carrey was Eggman. I pretty much love everything that Jim Carrey's in. How the F do you get through that? Okay, maybe I need to... Okay. Let's take a look at this.
tried to get it. Nope. Okay, just avoid the spikes. Yes, I shall. as much as I can. What the frick? How is it possible to hit it every single time? That's kind of amazing. <sighs> frick, and you would think that after playing it this much... <laughs> that, would, that would certainly make a spicy stream to have me start crying. You guys want to hear me cry? Good enough on that round, so I need to start over. She is already crying. She is crying. In that, in that picture, she is crying. I made sure of it. I didn't know that I'd actually get to that point though. I think I, I think I might be getting a little overstimulated. Might be the issue. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. I gotta, I gotta tap into those skills. I swear I'm not trying to keep y'all here forever. Baby. Come on! <laughs> right at the spike! Spike bath! Yeah. Alright, thank you guys. Skip. <laughs> I tried to hit it and it didn't hit. <laughs> Sadness. So, what, have you, what is your guys' uh, favorite Sonic character? I really like Tails uh, because of this game. Tails was really trying to help me, and I kind of need his sweet, sweet support right now. And if you're wondering why I keep dying over and over right there, it's because I'm trying to get the jar. Because I've realized that if I don't get it right there, then I pretty much am doomed at the last part. The part that's just tripping me up at the end.
Oh well, I guess I'll just go past that. <sighs> okay. I think the motion blur is also just kind of making my eyes hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you liked Espio. That's interesting. Yes, let me die, please. <laughs> huh? Oh, you liked the nasal voice. That's great. Okay, so you, you've been a fan of Tails before this. That's cool. I think I really need food. I don't do so well <laughs> when I haven't eaten. Ugh. I think my blood sugar is kind of dropping. What the frick? So that still wasn't enough? Are you kidding me? I'm getting sick of all your bullshit taking my rings, guys! I don't think you understand how much I want this. This really is Sonic is murdered. <laughs> I don't know, I might need that blood sugar boost, cause yeah, I'm a little I'm kinda struggling here. Cause my, I, I think it's a little too hot in here and I'm just like I feel like I'm dying. He says that with a smile on my face! What the fuck? Why does it not grab the, 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 the jar? What the hell? Everything is futile. Sonic! Do you understand that your existence has no purpose without your friends? Is that why you, you go so hard for these rings? I just... I'm, I'm, I'm recognizing that as I'm playing this, I've, I've developed a path that I can't break from. Like when you've practiced so, something so much that you just keep doing... What the fuck? What's that? See, it does not do it even though I'm trying to get the freaking hurt thingies and it doesn't do it! Come on, I can break through. I can break out of this, this, this crap. Stop hitting me! Fudge, man! I don't know why we're on this level! I forgot! What's even happening in this story? It's pissed, and it's like, I'm not gonna let you go. It became a Yandere train. We're on the Yandere Express. Choo choo, bitches. You're like, I can't seem to stop hitting this shit. <laughs> Crap. Because the Flicky is stuck and needs us. Thank you for being our guiding light. Okay, I gotta stop going for that thing. Stop. If you know it doesn't work! If you know it doesn't work! Stop! 
might also need to get up and wash my hands of this crap. I don't even know how to pause the game. That's another concern. How do, how do I pause this game? Guys, how do I pause the game? I'm scared. How do you pause it? Escape? Oh, thank you. All right. Oh, thank you. Jay has saved the day. He's brought me a root beer float. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Jay. So it won't let me save right now. Okay, guys. I'm going to very quickly... I'm going to do the BRB screen. I need to wash my hands. Um... I can't, I can't take this. I, got, I gotta wash my hands. I don't know if you guys have played so intensely that you're just sweating. It's hot. I have to have a light on me so that the ring camera can track my face. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take a little second. All right, one sec. <laughs> we
my gosh, look who's back. I'm just wiping off my keyboard. I gotta keep it nice and squeaky clean. Get my headphones back on. Thank you. I appreciate that you like my bow. That you like my, my avatar. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back. I'm, I'm back from the bathroom. <laughs> I got uh, flushed down the hell toilet, but it's okay. I came back alive. It was quite the story. I uh, went through a portal in space and time. I was there for six years, but, you know, I remembered. Ah, damn, I still have a sonic stream back where I came from. Sorry, guys, I gotta go. And, you know, even though I made some good friends, I had, I had to say goodbye, you know? I really... <laughs> I really had to come back. I had to finish what I started, okay? I gotta finish what I started! <sighs> even though I feel like crying, even though I feel like I'm dying, oh, I can do this. Oh, oh I can do this. Mm. And as I do this, I will also be partaking in my root beer float. Mm. Ah, it's delicious. It's good and it's nutritious. Okay. No promises. I might still majorly suck, but it's okay. Cause you just gotta keep going. Maybe I also need to like listen to different music. Cause the music is, is kind of it's kind of stressful. You know. Let's see if I perform better without the sound. I don't know, can you guys still hear the sounds on the screen? I'm like legit curious. Confirm if you can, because right now I have it turned down on my headphones. Let's pretend like it's it's still working. Shit. Yes, you can hear? Alright, great. Perfect. Perfection. Yeah, it's been cool to read about your guys' uh, sonic love. I'm just gonna call that that because we've been, we've been talking about plushies, we've been talking about characters, we've been talking about lore, like six feet lore. So it's, it's cool to read about. I really did like Rouge though. Like, she's. She's kind of, she's kind of rude in the game, sadly. I really like Blaze's design. Why do the female characters have to be kind of low to me? I don't know, maybe they have their redeeming arcs or whatever in the shows, in the movies. Maybe I'm just a big fan of their design. I think if I was actually friends with people in the universe, though, I'd probably be friends with the uh, but then again, one in every one. Oh yeah, speaking of Sonic characters... Y'all, what, what are your Sonic Sonas? What you made yourself as, as Sonic animals? Like I said, I really want to see Candy's as Sonic characters. I'm gonna have to see where I can get that done. So, is there just like unlimited numbers of Sonic animals that you can be? Except the Kidna, because frick, if you if you're an Echidna, you're gonna mess with nothing of his backstory. So you wanna have a, a giraffe? I don't know why that animal came up. Giraffe seems like an interesting, an interesting one to do. You know, it's funny, Sonic has always been like this weird, like omnipresent brand that like I just I like I knew the shadowy corners in my mind existed in like low life. But this is my first time like really, I don't know, exploring the depths of Sonic. I mean, really, the only, the only stuff besides the movies and stuff was, like, the baseline knowledge so I could write my song, uh, Shrek Time Sonic. Yes, I, I wrote a song about Sonic and Shrek being shipped. It's very beautiful. 
Uh, we'll see if it ever gets the light of day. It's, it's very highly, uh, kind of sussy, kind of inappropriate. But, you know, it is Sonic and Shrek in a loving, intimate relationship. And I, I already knew that going into this game, it would probably come up. <laughs> I've never made a Sonic go see for myself, but when I was working into furry. Oh, so you did a dragon that was kind of more like a Sonic. Wow, Sonic. Wow, it's slipping. I'm slipping. I'm slipping away. Oh. So, go ahead. Touch my rings. Okay, um. Yeah. Okay. I gotta try something new now. Yeah, I wish you still had the drawing too. We gotta see that. Okay, fluffy cat girl Sonic Sona. Sounds good. Can you jump midair, I wonder? Why do you have to collect 85? That's my question. Seems like a seems like a lot. Train seems seems kind of not cool. To make me suffer so much. See, doing that first one, I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. Collecting the lineage. Okay, I keep bumping into those guys. So go over here. Learn Made Shrek fan art. Uh, well, just the beautiful song. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of Shrek fan art. Um, I feel like I might have drawn Shrek at some point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dressed up as Fiona in sixth grade. Made my body the art. So that was cool. Oopsies! Gotta go freaking fast, man! Has anyone here dressed up as a Sonic uh, character or a Shrek character for Halloween? That'd be pretty cool. Ooh, I was, I was, I'm doing, I was doing so good! Wait a minute, did I actually make it? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I made it, that's cool! Just... Just be delivered to Eggman already! What about... What about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others! Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How? How dare you? I knew it, guys! What the fuck did I say? I told you! I told you there would be a hundred! I knew it in my my guts! I felt it in my candy core! God damn it! I knew there was gonna be a hundred. I knew that it was the suffering was not gonna be over. Oh god. That's alright, we'll just spend another three hours on this part. <laughs> it's a joke, it's a fucking joke. Oh yeah, the Firefly Princess character, that's cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Firefly, uh, uh, uh Sonic OC before. So that's cool. Ow. My butt! Oh. At this part, I, I, at this point, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna make it, but if I do, that'd be really freaking cool. Nope. <laughs> I know, I'm, get, I'm getting full from all the onion rings too. I, I thought I was joking slightly. I was like, you know, there can't be a hundred, right? A hundred? Seriously? A hundred? Isn't that a bit much, game? Like, 
seriously? I just can't right now. It seems kind of messed up. <laughs> uh, is anyone, like, really crazy onion rings now? Because, like, after all of this, it's just been, like, onion ring, onion ring, all my... I'm gonna dream of Sonic! Yeah, and the, the levels only get harder. It's very true. I'm gonna be dreaming of Sonic tonight. Like, my dreams are just gonna be me stuck in this ever... never-ending fucking loop of Sonic onion ring craziness. I, I feel very privileged, though, to display to you all my insanity. Like, this is my sanity unraveling. And you guys all get to be here live for it. Which is kind of cool if you think about it. You know, being able to watch someone go insane live. Like, that's that's kind of different, you know? It's, it's a little different. Like, I'm I'm barely keeping it together. But, you know, I, I'll keep doing it for y'all. As long as... As long as... You're Watching, I'm, I'm gonna keep on keeping on, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna Sonic it up, baby. Sonic it up, Sonic it up, yeah. Get those rings. Shit. <laughs> it will not be three hours. I am putting out the this can be finished relatively quick. Yeah, so, Jay, that's why I was thinking, like, even if I tried to have you come in at this point and try to play the game, you haven't been primed up for the speed and the insanity that this part is, you know? Like, it just gets to the point where it's just flashing colors and, and rings and hands and God knows what else in this insane asylum. So, yeah. Yo! I'm not the biggest Onion Ring fan, I'm more of a Fries and Mozzarella stick kind of gal. You know what? That is totally valid. I honestly, I feel you, the Mozzarella sticks. I, like, I'd rather get some, some sweet, sweet Mozzarella sticks instead of that. I miss the days of, like, when, when this was simple. You know, when it was like, oh yeah, you can, you can just think. I was taking a sip of my root beer float. Yum. I miss the days of not being in pain. <laughs> Ow. Sonic, I, I, I want you to sign my, my ass. If I get through this, you owe me that signature. Okay, that was that was very close. That was that was I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Fried salads, that's a thing? That sounds so cool. What is what's a what is a fried salad? Look at me, I'm having I'm having a class. Yeah, I gotta die there because I was not going. Yeah, I was I was so close. I was so close. Like what was that about, huh? Getting that close? So close yet so far. Oh my life has become these whole dreams, these delicious on your rings. Shoot, I missed the, the big onion ring drop. Oops. Whoopsies! Oh, there it is. There is another one. Okay, maybe that's what I was missing. Was that. Okay. Having a good time. Having a good time. Good. Because we ain't stopping. This train ain't stopping. What time is it for everyone? I mean, I think it's like 11 here or 12. My mind is steel trap. Yes. I locked in those onion rings. That delicious taste. Oh my god, I was so close. I can feel it. Ah! 
Okay, I feel a little too much there, so let me die there. The end is in sight. I know it. You will not have me train. I will have you. It's what's keeping me alive right now. It's always because I'm I'm just it's always yeah missing just those few little those few little rings there. You know I think this all applies to that whole you know like every bit counts you know mentality. Every little tiny bit counts. Yeah, you know, one one vote, one ring, you know, can make a big difference. <laughs> what was that? What are those? Thank you, game. Offering to refill the float. That's very sweet of you. Okay, uh, that was horrendous, so I'm gonna yeet. <laughs> okay. So, here we go. Okay, I see a mistake I was making right there. So I'm gonna kill myself. I mean, yeet. Excuse me. <laughs> as as I said, my brain is starting to slip. So my filter is gonna start slipping. Okay. Nope. Alright, there you go, Nose. You've, you've been sufficiently itched. Now you can stop complaining. Okay, so that's right where I start to get a little sloppy is that I I need to perfect my my game right there. And you stop going that same path right there. Okay, so right here. And then I see I, I always land right there on the spikes. Because I've gotten into a rut of my gameplay. Which is not very kitty litty, but oh well. I think at this point, I'm gonna just keep going. We can cry about it after. There we go. Alright, there's the death. That, is, that was really a helpful tip though. Like, try to go a path that you're not used to. Stop getting stuck right there! Jeez. I, I can't even see anymore. Like, is that just me? Or like, I'm starting to lose it. What was this game even about again? Like, I don't... I don't remember. Oh, it proceeds to do the thing I was talking about. Uh-oh, it's happening again, folks. My brain's giving up again. Uh-oh, uh-oh, spaghettios. Okay, look it, look it. When things get rough and hard, the rough and hard get going. And the tough, whatever the saying is, all right, Just right there. Great. Okay, I think last time when I really started going, it was when I was really just kind of zoning out and letting my brain just work, you know? So I gotta get into that state again, that magical state of consciousness, of just not thinking about it, but also thinking about it. Sonic, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not doing very well. And for my sins, you shall die. 
How is he not dead? Okay, there we go. I was like, just die already. <laughs> you know, I think that this, uh, the title of the video, the, the thumbnail thing, this is very accurate. This is very much the death, the murder of Sonic. He's dead. I've been killing him over and over. There, this is absolutely no clickbait. This is, this is just pure unadulterated Sonic suffering. So, if that's what gets you on, there you go. Like, we are doing it in this room. Like, it's happening. Okay, so I missed the thing right there, so I gotta do that. Onion sticks and root beer float or milkshake. Hmm. I don't know, it's, it's a hard one. Because root beer floats are freaking good and milkshakes are flipping good. That's a, that's a tough one. I, I don't know if I can choose. What do you guys think? What's everyone's favorite milkshake? That's a, that's a delicious topic, right? Strawberry milkshake slaps so much butt. Oh, they're so good. Gotta get that that sweet twenty. Oh, fried desserts. Let's talk about let's talk about good old funnel cake. Anybody like funnel cake? All right, time to die. Sonic, we're we're done. It's not happening. Crush, kill, destroy, swag. <laughs> ah, yes! Pony dot move! I love that scene. Oh my goodness. Yo, know, I still remember watching, like, I got home from high school and watching the final episode when Rainbow Dash becomes like a titan and destroys everything and fights against Discord. Good times. That was like back in 2013, right? Never a funnel cake. Ah, oh, you gotta try it. It's so good. We just had a funnel cake shop that uh, opened up by us, so that's cool. Okay, it's time to die. Yeah, it was- oh, delicious. Yeah, look, the Pony got Moe series. Yeah, let's, let's go watch that. After the stream. That's a good idea, though. Let's, gotta, gotta brush up on our Pony dot Moe. Okay. So yeah, this one is dying again. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's so good when Funnel Cake is fresh and crispy. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. And the powdered sugar just melts in your mouth. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I... Hmm. I 
love how when I started this level, I almost did it. And then from then on, it's just been hell. It's pretty funny to me. Favorite carnival rides? Oh my gosh, do you guys know the Starship? Where it's like a circular ride and it just goes super fast, right? And it glues you to the wall. I also love roller coasters. I almost slipped out of a roller coaster. Like, I'm pretty lucky to be alive. But with my sheer strength, I kept myself in. Yeah, the, the, uh, the bar wasn't properly on me. <laughs> so I was slipping out. And that was pretty yikes. What about you guys? What, what's your favorite carnival ride? Yeah, absolutely. Like, to be fair, I... I don't know if you guys, like, from the screen, can you guys, like, see that the motion is kind of, like, blurred, so it's weird? That's been kind of my struggle, is that, like, the motion is kind of just making me feel sick. Ooh, the drop tower, that's fun. Yeah, I've, I've had some brushes with death. I uh, died a couple of, a few times. Wait, oh, 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 there we go. Good, that's what I, that's exactly what I wanted. Like, I think I talked about it in a candy TV episode back in the day when I was in the Wii almost like a car. There was a there was a Christmas Eve when my family and I we were in the car and I remember because it was right before Strange Happenings uh, Five Part Two you know the Christmas special um I was like we there was a car that was coming and it t it almost t boned our car and because my dad reacted really fast we didn't get t boned and I think it was like possibly on my side, so I probably would have been the one who got yeasted. And I remember thinking to myself, God damn, if I had died, three chapters five for two, I would have out. <laughs> I love how that, that was my my thought process for that. It's pretty funny. I don't know, it's funny when, when you're about like like realizing how close you're dying like what you prioritize, I guess. And then I ended up getting that episode out in June. I think, because it was just... That episode required a lot of editing. It also didn't help that our computer would, like, every year or a few months, the computer would completely crash, and we'd have to just get it replaced. And so we'd have to transfer the hard drive files, and, you know, stuff would get lost, and it was an entire mess, and that was throughout the years of the video editing that there were just the issues. There was also the time where the hard drive... I, I've hinted at it a bit, but um, the hard drive got really wrecked. And I think it was back in 2017 or 2016. I kind of blocked it out of my brain a bit because it was pretty painful. But um, I had a lot of stuff cooking, you know what I'm saying? And basically, the hard drive just completely yeeted itself. And so it needed to be repaired. So we sent it off to a repair uh, personnel and somebody gutted the package. They literally took the hard drive out of the package and stole it. So that hard drive that had all of these <laughs> beautiful files that I'm sure y'all would love to see got yeasted, roasted and toasted, forever gone, rest in peace files and videos that never came out. Um, and so kinda, it kind of got me to kind of just the state of, you know, being really sad and down not really doing the videos for a while because of the hard drive getting stolen. Yeah, it was pretty lame. Yeah. I don't know why someone stole the hard drive. Maybe they just knew that what was contained was too powerful. Possibly? I don't know. Why do people do anything, you know? But yeah, 
that was, uh, that was a pretty sad moment for me. It, it really took a toll. It's like when you, when you put your, you know, a lot of work into stuff and you lose it all, you just kind of, I don't know, kind of just give up, I guess. But, I mean, when you get back at it again, it's like, yeah. So what? If that happened then, all I can do now is I just have to keep going. Otherwise, the series and other things are just, they're not gonna happen, you know? Yes, baby! Oh my gosh! Finally! Oh. No! 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 Okay, just imagine a glitching out sound. The train is dying. It better be dying. We just went through a hundred rings, so it better be freaking done. <laughs> dying robot noises. Maybe that would be more like... Like, I don't know. I'm not a robot, <laughs> so... Thank you. Here's a here's another dab just for the, the tip. There you go. Hell yeah. Oh, grab the flicky. Alright, grab the Oh my god. If grab the flicky, no more ring time. I think we're good. Okay, so so he's grabbing the flicky. It's over! Time to pay for ruining my birthday! Oh my gosh, look at that! She just smashed the shit out of that train. Holy cow! Whoa! Whoa! What's happening? Yep, I made that hundred onion rings, so we're good. Oh, what's happening? Oh! Oh, it's so cute! Sonic Chen is catching... Or Sonic Senpai is catching Amy Chan? I don't know how the lingo goes, but whatever, however it goes, it's beautiful. Uh, getting a victory sip. It's alright, candy bounced back. The train is slowing down! Great hit, Amy! <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day! Ugh. Oh. I... I just... couldn't bear to see you go... I'm sorry... for the troubles... Yeah, get wrecked. Die. I don't care if you have sparky bolt robot voice. Die! I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Damn right! Amen, sister. Uh, thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Wow. Goodness above. Goodness above. Ah, finally! Amy and Sonic, all the crazy kooky characters. We did it! Well, I'll say, I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step! It, it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over! Maybe... Oh, okay, there we go. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner! Oh! You don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late! I've been waiting here for hours! Ha ha ha! You'd honestly never believe what happened! So I won't even try! Ha 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 ha! I'm just glad you're here! Quick! We leave for Spagonia in the morning and you need to pack! 
I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation is something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Yeah, they have cute designs, don't they? Oh, who's this? Ha ha ha, an old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, 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 cheep. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. There was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. You better be. <laughs> Don't be! You were just following what you thought was the game. I mean, good point. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. Yeah, we're cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, I... Boy, am I starving! I forgot we never ate! With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Uh, Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? This station has a bakery! And look what I bought! Ah! A birthday cake! Happy birthday, Amy, from everybody and the Sonic gang! A and candy. See, I'm right there. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. Oh, here we go. Poem time. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if Persona City is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah! <laughs> you guys! <laughs> we almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but, I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now, let's have some cake! Yes, please! Dig in, everyone! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> uh, I hope it's chocolate. Okay, Shadow. <laughs> Beautiful. It, this is so cute! So kawaii! And now we are at the, the fable dot dot dot. Oh, oh, we get to see Eggman. He's a little bit miffed. What are these? These robots. Let's go, Dad. <laughs> That's kind of cute. That train's never making it here. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Orbot, prepare a bath. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? The angry? Sour choice, your evilness! Shoot it! <laughs> <laughs> the Sonic Rubber Tug, that's hilarious. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. 
cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, <laughs> well, I quit my freaking job! <laughs> and then won millions in the lottery! Because remember how I kept doing the freaking slot machine? Well, it paid off eventually! That's all I gotta say! <laughs> and after all that, I managed to fly to space. Managed to fly to space! Yeah, that's just been my life! <laughs> Pretty epic life, honestly. Yo, Candy is freaking bathing in god money. Those fat stacks of cash! Oh! Let me drink some more of my root beer float. Mm. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog is finally complete! So tell me, what was your guys' favorite part? No, the stream. Like, what was obviously mine was when I finally smashed the shit out of those ring games, okay? Because they were hard, but I did it, and I stuck to it. Oh, sweet rip your float, mm. victory float. Oh, it tastes so sweet. Oh. oh my gosh, I wish you guys could have some this root beer float slaps! I also want to ask, what was your favorite voices that I did? For the characters? I mean, obviously Candy was amazing. I mean, it's my voice, but I'm talking about the Sanic characters. You know what? That's a good point. I love the moment between Shadow and Amy as well. That that was probably one of the best parts. It made me ship them. Okay, so favorite voice was Tails. For you, awesome. It's a good choice. Oh, Sega! There you are. The good old Sega. And to all the Sonic fans, I hope that you're okay with the voices, like I said. I don't really know how they sound, so I just kind of made it up. <laughs> Knuckles and Tails. Espio is funny as hell. I also... Okay, I liked... Uh, what's her name? Rouge? I hope I'm saying that right. I... I don't know. I, it's fun to do the, the sexy woman voice. <laughs> as I call it. Oh, goodness. And and also Shadow's voice, I think, was fun. It's, it's just fun to, to do that one. Seductive, creamy, dreamy voice. Some dude. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, some dude. That's right. Oh. Oh, the Walking Dead will always live on in our hearts. Mm. Mm. Celebrate! Oh, we're finally done! We made it to the end and I didn't give up. Oh, oh thank you. And you liked Amy as well. That's awesome. Ah, uh, it feels good to be done. <laughs> it feels good to finally have <laughs> cracked the code on freaking Sonic's murder. And I, I, I'm actually really surprised that Espio, like, was actually the murderer and, and it was the one that I chose. Like, I'm like impressed. Like, damn, all right, get it, you know? Mm, mm, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> and my my character in the story really got a great ending after that. I'm sorry, but can you really expect me to stay with that job after that? After that? Seriously? Mm-mm, nope, not happening. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm glad that you're proud of me. I'm proud of me too. <laughs> How long are these, uh, uh, credits? Maybe we're almost there, because we're at the production pets and moral support. You guys were my moral support, so thank you! Bless you! <laughs> Bless you, Magical Ponies, for being my epic moral support. You get a clap. Wait, so you can- I think maybe you could have picked anyone and still be right? I have no idea. 
All right, and that is the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And thank you to anyone who also comes to the stream archive and watches this glorious murder fest of Sh Sonic. I almost said Shronic crap. <laughs> thank you so much, y'all. You know what time it is, don't you? We're almost at six hours for the stream, I think. Like, I'm- I'm reeling over here! Oh my goodness. Yeah, the game probably would have done I don't think that's it until you picked the right one. Guys! Guys, I have a question! Should I let the stream run till six hours or should we just end and be done? <laughs> Cause I mean, we're- I think if this is correct, it says I've been live for five hours and 51 minutes and like 50 five seconds or something so like i could go for that sweet sweet six hour stream i don't know it's up to you guys or we can just end here and be like you know what it was great we're done we should do it <laughs> i mean it's already such a long ass stream that it's like we might as well you know like, if we want to do it, want to get to that, that six hours. I know, right? Isn't that insane? Six hours? And I think that's kind of part of the April Fool's joke, because, like, you could watch this and you'd be like, Oh, is she doing it like that just because it's an April Fool's Day joke? I mean, it's, it's technically kind of past April Fool's, but <laughs> you never know. You know, that could have been my big old April Fools to everybody was sucking at the game. But you know what, to be fair, I need to be nice to myself. I was I was struggling a bit, but obviously I don't suck because I made it through the game. That's the most important thing in life is even if you get kicked down several times, do you still get up and still return and don't let it break you and don't let it you know, make you quit. I, I think this is kind of an inspirational thing to take here, you know? I really was kind of tempted to just be like, you know, I don't know, I, like maybe I should just kind of quit and then maybe try streaming it at another point or just kind of saying, yeah, you know, Sonic died, so like, sorry guys, I'm, I'm kind of done playing. Like, I could have done that, but I didn't, so I'm really proud of myself. Like, and I, and I finished the whole thing in one stream, that's a really good point. Why not share your Shronic song as a treat to finish it off? I don't know, because if I if I put the, the Sonic sh song, it's, uh, then it's out there, you know, and I don't know. I'm sorry for teasing it, guys, but it's kind of, like I said, it's a little bit off the deep end. It talks about Sonic and Shrek basically getting together, you know, like that. It's silly, and it's very meme -y, but, like, you know, it's it's kind of like... <laughs> yeah, it's maybe for a... I don't know. Maybe you guys would like it, but I don't know. You'll have to watch out the, if it ever drops somewhere. I don't know, but here's the other thing. So, Vyeth, you're, you're suggesting that. People could go to the very end of the stream and then hear it and then just be flabbergasted and and want to dislike the video i i was talking to i was talking to um Vyeth about it and i was like okay how badly do i want to lose subscribers because if, if i publish that song <laughs> as a joke so yeah there's that <laughs> it's okay and when I say that, it's because of just the content, not that it isn't glorious and amazing. Like, I'm trying to be sensitive of, you know, what people <laughs> can take. So, I don't even know how we would share it, to be honest. I'm not- I'm not sure. Vyeth, how does that even work if I was to share? You know what? Yeah, if you guys want to hear it, I'll share it to my uh, people who become patrons or YouTube members. Because I got I gotta keep that locked until I publicly put it out. <laughs> 
I don't think I'm. I, I don't think I want to end the, this beautiful game stream with that. It's and like I said, it's good. It's just, you know, it's a little bit 18 plus, not safe for work kind of deal. I just want to be sensitive to you know people's things, and it's not even that bad. But I want to be careful. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, YouTube members or Patreon. I if you want to hear it, I'll share it there. <laughs> We have a we have a real fun time in the Patreon. So we got a exclusive chat and all those those fun things and a yeah, so it's great. It's good. Okay, I think we're almost there. I think we have four minutes till six hours. Four freaking minutes! <laughs> well what shall we do in this these final four minutes together? That's the true question. Shall we search the options menu? I flip if I know. Uh oh, copyright. Uh oh. Oh no. I I have no I oh hmm you know what hmm hmm oh and we can just see the credits here. That's fun. And then you can change your little graphics and all that, that good stuff. Alright, anything that you guys want me to say? Well, I'll try to say it. You know like how they do at the end of the CinemaSins video? That they'll have silly lines said. And our final... F what is this now? Three minutes together? Two minutes? The end is nearing. Until the six hour mark. And yeah, isn't this cool? Y'all are part of- You should attempt to speed run of this game now. I- I think I'm good. <laughs> I, I- I get what you're going for, but I think I'm done. <laughs> that would be funny though. I think I- I'm just really lucky to have uh, gone through it, to be honest. I have been sonicked out. I'm ready to head to Sonic and get myself a, some mozzarella sticks and onion rings. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, wait a second. I just oh, beat the game in under three minutes. Are you kidding me? I look up and I see that and something inside of me died. That, that would be funny though. I, I don't even know if it would be possible to click through just the dialogue things that fast. Or are you April Foolsing me? You're, you're probably April Foolsing me. But yeah, if you want to see that sweet, sweet Shronic song, just, just join that Patreon or YouTube members. Oh, goodness above. I have other songs as well. I wrote a song about Praise Be Shaggy. I used to lead a Shaggy cult that I would go around into different video games and recruit members. Yeah, I'm talking about Shaggy, like Ultra Instinct Shaggy, Matthew Lillard Shaggy. We're talking Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. And we would say these prayers together, and at the end of the prayers we would say, in the name of Shaggy, sorry, in the name of Scooby-Doo, Zoinks. And it was beautiful. Oh yeah, it's a joke, just to fill up the last three minutes, doing the Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog speedrun. That, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, if only, right? Dang, that would be something. Alright, tell me when you guys see that it's reached the six hour mark. And then I think it'll be time to say goodbye. The end is nigh. <laughs> it's coming. Uh, I think, I think we're there, folks. I think we've hit the six hour mark. Six hours! Ugh. Thank you for watching, everyone. It's been real. I've been Candy, and I will also be Candy next week, unless something crazy happens. Who knows? I did lose my sanity, and now I'm in Sanic. Well, that, that sounded weird. In, in my Insanic tea. Uh, oh my goodness. Words. Thank you for watching. Thank you, people watching the archive. Thank you so much. 
y'all deserve a hand because this is the first and who knows if it'll be the last six hour stream but it's been real okay super stream thank you i'm so glad goodbye everybody it is time we are saying goodbye a and for this stream i'm also gonna give a big fat dab oh dab oh yes <laughs> did it candy <laughs> okay bye everybody